God, every single time, I forget that Spotify does this. What, every day, every day Spotify breaks. Every single day. I don't understand. It's very annoying. I'm fixing it. Hang on, chat. <laughs> Hello. One second. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> fixed. Everything's fine. That is very loud in my ears. Yikes. Okay, now it's fixed. <laughs> also, Shan with a tier 3, 28 months. Um, and Sarah with a 29 months. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, you like my shirt? Thanks, Hope. I really appreciate that. I like this shirt, too. Um, I think it's fun. Anyway, we're going to play The Sims. Shockingly. Um, I think my goal today is that I would very much like to- well, we're playing Not So Berry. And my goal is that I need to get us moved into the new house, because we built it, but we haven't moved into it yet. And then I need to, like, place all of my graves and put our photos back up. <laughs> Um, so we just need to make the move to the new not so berry house basically and then we can actually play um, But yeah things things like our graveyard hasn't come with us um, All those such very important things also uh, the forecast is not looking so hot for us today uh, Well, it's looking hot. It's, it's Florida, um, but it's also looking very stormy <laughs> So, um, If all of a sudden it sounds like the sky is falling It's Florida um, so I'm warning you now. <laughs> and speaking of the sky falling, who wants to hear about my water damage? I'll show you. Um, I have a hole in my ceiling. Remember how we thought we had resolved this and there was not gonna be holes in my ceiling anymore and like, oh, the construction's mostly done. Hang on. So, um, basically, everyone, the air conditioner is upstairs, like, in in the second floor, um, and she broke, and when she broke, she leaked a large amount. Did this to my ceiling, water damage, so... They cut a hole in my ceiling, obviously, to check the water damage and allow it to dry out before they then fix the ceiling again. <laughs> oh my god. It's fine. The air conditioner is fixed. They're gonna fix the hole in my ceiling. It's not that bad, but like, it's just... why? <laughs> just why, you know? Um... Anyway, here's my brand new kitchen chat. <laughs> you know the one they just finished? Like, you know how they just did the grout and the tile? Like, like, four days ago? <laughs> so. Um, anyway. <laughs> it's just like, of course, right? Like, what? Of course. Um, but anyway, it's fine. It's fine. It could be worse. It's not that bad. It's gonna be fixed. It's fine. It's just, like, laughable. In fact, speaking of worse, my parents had an issue with water leaking through the ceiling in their kitchen a couple years ago. It wasn't because of the air conditioner. In fact, it was because, and I'm not kidding, my brother's friend- so my parents have an upstairs, but it's not, like, a big upstairs. It's just one room. Um, and so there's a bathroom and then like kind of a large like em empty room, like open room that they have like a couch and like a TV in, basically like a TV room upstairs. Um, well, one of my brother's friends, this is like five, six years ago, pooped in that bathroom upstairs, um, flushed the toilet, toilet did not flush, started overflowing. I assume he didn't know, like he didn't realize, he just went downstairs. Anyway, the toilet overflows for hours and hours until all of a sudden water starts rushing through the ceiling of the kitchen because it was like right above the kitchen. So all of a sudden, literally, I'm not even joking. I remember this moment because I was like trying to sleep in my bedroom and all of a sudden I hear this like rushing water and it was water coming through the kitchen ceiling from the toilet upstairs. Anyway, they had to get um, the ceiling all fixed and stuff. And then a couple years later, they had to get their kitchen all replaced because there was so much mold in the walls. Um, <laughs> so uh, luckily that happened to them and not me. <laughs> but <laughs> Long story short, it was not good. No, that was my parents' house, um, and insurance covered it. Uh, but yikes. 
<laughs> also, F and Samantha and Priory and Nerd and Fruit Boy and Plaid and Nuclear and Joanna and Hurricane and Cacti and Hedona and Palm and Anna and Cast and Kayla and Anti and Rhea and I'm gonna try and read these. And Aaron and Chai and Tess and another Caitlin and Lily and Paige and Swifty and Chris and Salty and Shadow and Smacks and Artemis and Greek and Hammer and Jules and George and Team Stevenson and Sailor and Starfall and Ben and Belinda and Simsy Boss and Hyra and Gotta log in and lost him and little Dico with the 25 months and Hallie and Electric and Red and Anxious and Westy and Isabella and Peter and Sarah and oh my god, thank you all so much, I think I caught up. <laughs> um, you would have been so embarrassed. I don't think that person ever knew that it happened, to be honest. It was like, I think it was one of those like people, like Brett had like a bunch of friends over from the baseball team, like, um, so I don't think it was like ever solidified whose fault it was, you know? So I think that helps. But if that happened to me, if I pooped in someone else's house and then <laughs> destroyed their whole kitchen, could you imagine? Oh my god, it's fine. We can joke about it now, but it was not funny at the time. It was not funny at the time. Um, it literally caused, like, years of problems. <laughs> so, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> um, but I mean, I used the same contractor that fixed my parents' house to do my new house. Um, so, you know, maybe that helps. We met um, a good contractor, so, one poop took down the house, literally, though, yeah, that's unfortunate, um, that's really unfortunate, <laughs> uh, Kenobi, and Alex, and Kayla, and Julia, and Clara, and Jen, and Lottie, and Satan, and Dark and Stormy, and Gator Tots, and Ellen, thank you all so much, um, okay, let's go through this chat, because we need to go through, and we need to take all of the important items, and bring them home with us to the new house, um, so I might also go through and do some selling of the not so important items, uh, just because my inventory is a little bit scary and I don't like that about it. For example, singular piece of spinach. Let's be honest with ourselves. Do we need that? No. Um, I might take the photos and bring them in my pockets. Yes. Is today International Cat Day? Hmm. Well, that's fun. I didn't know that. Hmm. I'll need to post something on Instagram. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, Kat, thanks for the bits. <laughs> also, Melissa and Fabi and KG and, and fans and stuff. Thank you. Sorry, I thought I saw my cat over there. I didn't. I imagined it. That happens to me a lot. Um, do I need anything else? Obviously, all of these things, very important, extremely important. Cannot forget these absolutely necessary items that must come with me to the new home. Extremely important. <laughs> um, Red and Ginny, thank you for the subs too. Uh, these are uh, my little Simi capsules. Those, those were the death of someone. They did cause one of my previous Sims to die, but who's counting really? Um, I might also bring my, like, fully built, uh, rocket ship. I'll need my pond. I'll need my dead cow plant. Uh, I can sell that, probably. I'll just sell that, too. Um, I'm gonna need to bring a lot of these with me. This is also very important. Um, can't lose the graves. I am in desperate need of these items. Didn't I just build that house? What, this one? We built this one months ago, Hot Dads. We just built the new house, the yellow house. So we're gonna go move to it. We haven't, like, properly moved in yet because it takes me a while to move in because I, well. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> so I'm pressing backspace, by the way, I put these things in my inventory. Delete cells, backspace, puts in your inventory. Um, Jesse, Clary, Beastie, Brooke, Watery, Goose Kingdom with the 57 months. Thank you, Hope. Um, anyway, it takes, as you can see, it takes me a bit. So, just one moment. Just one moment. Um, I'll get through this. I'll get through this. One sec. <laughs> it really does take a while. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Tomb Electrify, thank you for the subs too. Alright, anything else that we need? I don't really need that stuff. I don't really need the dumpsters. Um, in the house, I took the stuff out of here. Oh, I've got photos. I'll put those in my Sims inventory, though. It's more like the build mode stuff that I- oh, god. That I want to make sure I take right now. Like, the dragon. I guess the laptop, maybe. 
Um, oh, all of those, obviously. Computer, I think I put computers already, but I might as well. Um, okay. So then it should just be these photos. And then we should be all right. Oh, my light, duh. Wait, oh my God, this could have been a disaster. This, now we're good. <laughs> Uh, Kelly, Pages, Jacob, uh, Annika, and everybody, thank you for those subs and stuff, too. Um, okay. Anyway. Anyway. Landlord? Oh, I should bring- you know what? I should bring the landlord. I mean, we can't just- we can't just leave him behind, you know? <laughs> we should bring the landlord. <laughs> um, otherwise, I don't think the rest of this stuff I'm that concerned about. I mean, I could bring this because I might forget otherwise, but we should be good. We should be good. He's an emotional support landlord? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we're complimenting my little landlord gnome too much. <laughs> He's the enemy. <laughs> uh, Vixen, Calypso, Jay Mellis, Lauren, Landon, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Don't give the landlord free housing. I can't believe this. <laughs> All right, let's move. Um, no. Travel? Move household. Let's go, gamers. It's time. This is a moment for us. Um, a big moment for us. Okay, come on. Get me out of here. Anyway, we're on Gen 3 of the Not So Berry Challenge now. We've kind of obviously finished the red gen and now we're starting the yellow gen, hence the move um, into the like new house. So the red gen parents are coming with us. Um, cause the last thing that we have to do is have them get married as an elder, except, um, she's not an elder yet, so <laughs> we can't do that yet. Uh, but I did build a new house. We spent a while on stream building this. Um, as I, as I warned you, we have plenty of money. <laughs> I was really not worried about the cash, um, in this place. I thought we would be fine, and we are fine, luckily. Um, and then... We can just get started, basically, with the yellow gen, which should be fun. Um, see, I kind of dressed the occasion, right? There's, like, hints of yellow in my shirt, right? <laughs> um, hey, AJ, and Flo, and Dream, and Ken, and Massive Seagull, and, and Zen, and everybody, thank you for the subs. I hopefully I didn't miss anything. All right, chat. Let's get back to work. We've got items to return to their rightful places. <laughs> Um, I might put these on this wall. I've kind of been thinking about keeping our collectibles in here, you know? Um, and yeah, we get to see the house in all its glory for real now. Oh, wait. Um, with the rocket ship actually complete, which will be fun for us, too. Oh, my God. We don't even have all of them. That's, like, the hilarious part about this is we haven't even finished collecting all the simmies. It's terrible. You resub with Prime, but you're still getting ads? Metal Face, you shouldn't be. Maybe try and refresh. See if that causes Twitch to get its act together. Um, that might help. Because you shouldn't be getting ads if you're sub. That's really weird. Um, I can put that alien in here. Thoughts? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Frog, uh, Buggy, and Meg, and Annie, and Potatoes, and Cardi, and Amethyst, and Sarah, and Pepper, and AJ, thank you for the subs and stuff, too. Um, okay, I might try and put up some... Oh my gosh, I really have a lot of photos, don't I? And I don't really have a lot of wall space. <laughs> I guess I didn't really think this through. Um... Oh, this is from the wedding where we left him at the altar. That's cute. <laughs> That's an old one. I think we could hang up this picture or we could put this in in their bedroom maybe. That seems nice, right? In the gray bedroom there is a wallpaper mishap. Is there? Oh, there is. Disaster. Okay, we brought a couple of things. For example, I have my my good rocket ship. Oh my god. I'm getting overwhelmed by the amount of things in my inventory. Where's my good rocket ship? Let's just do this one step at a time, okay? Death Pond. Um, I'm gonna need this thing, too. I may as well just put it over there. 
Um, where, where? I brought the full size rocket ship. Hello? Bottom left? Bottom. This is a clone machine. Second to last row. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it was next to, it was next to this tiny one. This model rocket, so I was getting it confused. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> yes! Oh, this is exactly what I wanted this whole time. <laughs> uh, Animal Crossing and Honey Crisp and Musky and Random Fan and Trin and Annie and Mariel and Frog. Thank you so much. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> It's perfect. Um, okay, as far as other things go, we also have some like pretty cool artwork. I don't know. Um, if we should really use this like in here or not. Or anything, but it is pretty nice. So maybe we could. You know? Um, I think that's cool. Otherwise, I don't really need any of those things right now. We have the pet treats. I don't really wish to use that right now. Um, we could probably put up some more photos. I mean, this is like a photo of the Gen 1 sim. If we wanted to use some photos of like the old sims. She's dead, so. Maybe it would be nice. Here's a photo of Gen 2. Oh, see, isn't that lovely? We could get like a picture of Gen 3 also crying. And like hang it up. All in a row. I think that seems really nice. Yeah, that just feels like it really um, sets the mood in the house, you know. Seems really good. Okay, <laughs> I might see if we have any other like, maybe a couple of tiny photos. Or like, you know, this thing sized down might look pretty good right there. It's just nice to use some of the stuff that we've sort of compiled over the years, right? Like, we've spent all this time trying to get all these things. We might as well use them. See? Bag of money by the door. Might as well. Uh, I want to look at like some of the small photos. Are these small photos? Yeah. I'd like to maybe use, um, I don't know, maybe that one could be there. That seems nice. All right, um, I need to be more realistic with myself for a second about how I'm not gonna refill the pet bowl, so I have to get a new, um, auto feeder. <laughs> we just need to be honest with ourselves, and if I'm being honest with myself, I need to get an auto feeder. Like, I can't. <laughs> I just can't do it otherwise. <laughs> I won't, I won't fill it. We can put the little gnome cards. Anybody see the landlord anywhere? Oh, here he is. Um, the landlord can stay by the door. He can guard us. I have an extra computer. Oh my god, this house is like cheap. I didn't realize the house was gonna be so cheap. I would have spent more money on it had I known. Like, look at this. We got the best stuff. Didn't I use like the most expensive? Yeah. What more can we do? <laughs> like we've got the best stuff. Should I get a better laptop or something? I mean, I have an extra one there too, but. I don't know. Maybe. That's just ugly. You can have that one. Pool? We have a pool. We have a hot tub, too. We literally have it all. Um, it's okay. We'll spend it on bills. I feel like maybe this little robot could be a fun touch for... Wait, can we, like, switch you into one of these? And I can put my robot in that? Oh, good. Okay. This house is cute. Burn money? Oh, we could do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me put my, like, death pond back here. Quickly. 
Um, and then I wanted to put my pile of graves in the front yard. Um, I will warn you. Oh, that one's alive. I want the dead one. Oh no. I will warn you that I, I have a lot of graves. So this might take us a while. And, and for that, genuinely, I apologize, chat. But like, we're gonna be here for a sec because <laughs> I have a, a pile to play. <laughs> Uh, Inky and Nails and Sammy and Moon and Dinky and Chloe and Jewel with the subs. Bugs with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy, Bugs. Uh, Impatient and Juliet and Jessica and Akila and Megan and Cass and Adania. Thank you so much. A lot is an understatement. Do you think? I might get rid of these. Honestly, I don't need the elements anymore. I don't care about them. In fact, they're causing me stress. Just clear it out. Clear it out. Or that. Or that, or that. Oh, here's an alien grave. I might need that. <laughs> that one's important. We might need we might need to use that one somewhere. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, here's another alien. Yeah. When we go to space, we can try and collect some more of those. Okay. Oh. I also forgot about my little cork board. Because I had all those cute things. Oh no. In here, maybe? Your sim got abducted by aliens last night? Ooh. Well, we had sort of talked about maybe trying to have kids with an alien, but it needs to be a human child. It's very important to me. Um, okay, there we go. We did, we did discuss that possibility, though. Um, okay, let's start placing the graves again. Um, <gasps> ah! did you see that? They tried to delete. <gasps> Wait, that one's toast. Rose, Dylan, Shay. Some of these are glitch. That like couple of those were pets. It'll appear in live mode. Liar. Oh, I didn't place it. Liar. Oh no. <gasps> ah! Five of my graves are broken. <laughs> Oh no, that one is gone. I can't undo that now. Whose idea was that? <sighs> this is devastating. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff in my stupid inventory. I need to like, I just don't want all the graves to be at the bottom because I have to keep scrolling. It's very annoying to me. Maybe let me clear out a couple more things. Oh. When you go back to game mode, they appear, but it didn't. It didn't appear when I came back to game mode. Is it a problem with the with the grave mod? Yeah, I have that grave mod installed still. Um, I mean, I guess it's possible that that's what caused it, but it's gone now. Um. Still have to scroll so much. It's okay. It's not the mod. Yeah, I don't think it is the mod. Um, I I don't think that's the case. Um. Oh, I should put these all in my Sims inventory anyway. I can get those out of the way. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, I also could probably get rid of my chickens, but I just can't. You know, it's happened to you, it comes back after a little bit. Um, you have to press play in live mode for it to come back. <gasps> oh! 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 
No, no, no. That was incredibly distressing. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. What on earth? What is that? Why is it doing that? No, we didn't deserve that. <laughs> that was that was scary. <laughs> that was actually incredibly alarming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, game. You do whatever you want. Whatever. The graves are coming back. <laughs> they're they're haunting us. <laughs> Quesadilla, Minnie, uh, Clevy, and Alex, and Carly, and Pillsbury, and Rose, and Drew, and Christmas, and Hammerhead, and Ryan, Rosie, and Allison, and Simming, and uh, everybody, Raven, as well as the subs. Thank you so much, chat. Um, okay, let me just put a couple of items, like, over here, just so my graves will be all one row, because then it's easier for me to do this, and then we can keep placing them around. I guess if I had them all be straight, it would be easier for me to place them instead of trying to do the creepy, like, stacks of them being rounded. Okay. All right, everyone, just give me a second, because as we discussed, um, I have a very large pile that I need to place. <laughs> so if you could just give me one moment, please. The goal was always that we wanted to fill in the entire yard with them. Um, so we're not quite there yet, but we are doing extremely well. We are extremely wealthy in terms of the number of graves that we possess. Which is really, really uh, lucky. We're so blessed. <laughs> is someone gonna die today? I don't know, probably not. Um, I don't really intend to kill any of my current sims that I'm playing with right now. Um, and I don't think my pet is old. But if I, for some reason, stumble upon, I don't know, like an elder sim at the park and they die, I'll probably bring their grave home. But to answer your question, I'm not gonna kill, like, any of the sims that we're actually playing with right now. Um, okay. All the pet graves. I feel like the pet graves are for some reason what alarms people the most. But can I just say, I didn't kill these pets. They all died of old age. So the pet graves are the least alarming. I can't say the same for the, for the like, sim graves. The sim graves did not all die of old age. <laughs> some of them did. But certainly not all of them. Um, so. <laughs> oh, this is great. This takes up a lot of space, just as I wanted it to. Yes, okay. I feel really good about this. Uh, but you can't kill pets, they can only die of old age, so. I wouldn't kill them anyway. That's no fun. That's, that's actually terrible, so. Okay, I think now we are good. I could probably go through and toss a couple things out of my Sims inventory. And then, oh. And then maybe you could come fill that. Where did I put the litter box? Oh, right, in here. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. Okay. Um, what oh, happened to the counter? Oh, it's a cabinet. That's why it does that. Uh, I might get rid of that. And that. Okay. Okay. So, for work, we're doing all right. We are currently level three in the astronaut career. Um, we do have work today. Um, I personally would very much like to meet an alien. Um, I think that would just be lovely. Um, I don't know if I want to deal with that today, but I suppose we could. Maybe I'll do it now. We do have a kind of girlfriend named Wanda, but she's no alien, so. It's hard to say. Did I make this house intending to upset Rochella? No, Zoe, it's really not so very challenge. So there's a whole like yellow themed generation in this one. Um, nothing to do with Shella, unfortunately. <laughs> Why did I take the rocket ship? Because I want to use this. My grandma did not spend her whole life trying to make this thing just for me to not use it. I gotta have my moments, you know? Um. <laughs> 
Uh, Kelly, Xander, Tuna, and Raven. Thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. The house is on the gallery, yeah. Um, I built this, like, a week ago, so. Uh, can I get, like, an astronaut costume? Uh, maybe. Are Let's there try. astronaut costumes? This is very important to me. Um, let me look. And can I wear it? I know there is one, but do I just have it in cast or do I need to unlock it? Oh. Hmm. Um, this is incredibly distressing. Incredibly distressing. Nothing is good enough. I can find it in the styled looks. Oh, that's a good call. Under what? Oh my god. Oh, I could wear a night costume. If I filter by get to work, that might be better. I don't actually know. Um, is it get to work or is it base game? The astronaut. I think it's base game. There we go. Why isn't it underneath the costumes? Is that even it? There are so many things in The Sims 4. That's Star Wars. Okay, this is Star Wars. Um, I don't know if I have the astronaut stuff unlocked. Maybe I'm not high enough in the career. Which, frankly, is upsetting. Um. <laughs> I mean, we could always wear this. Who's to say this is not good enough? Huh. I think this will do. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think you look really good, so. <laughs> I got Heather, um, uh, Chicky and Moonfall and Jazzy and Kelly, thank you for the subs. It actually, it kind of is good. Um, so. My Sims pronouns are they, them, traveling nerd. Thanks for asking. Um, okay. I'm looking for literally aliens. That is my goal. Um, I'm actually trying to date. Because like I said, we've got Wanda. Wanda's beautiful. Lovely, lovely, nice lady. However, we're not even actually dating her. And I'm not sure if I want to or not. I need to decide if I find an alien that is is good. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> I did have this whole thought process of like, maybe Honey should only ever date one person. Um, I can't date a person named Daniel. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Um, also he's old, that Sim is an elder. Um, but anyway, I've, I sort of grappled with the thought of like, honey, maybe just dating one Sim ever. Um, cause like, obviously their mom had like the serial romantic aspiration, dated loads of people, so it might be fun like for this generation to not have to do that. Hayden? Vincent? Hayden Hawk? That's kind of hot, I won't lie. Public apology to all Daniels. I don't need to. I'm married to Daniel. I don't need to apologize. I'm looking at Hayden Hawk. Because that's like... That's like kind of good. You know? that's a, It's a hidden world, honey bunnies. Yeah, I think it comes with get to work, yes? Uh, but you have to get into space. Oh, no. Okay. Clumsy thief... Cheerful has a kid. <laughs> I don't know if I can date a thief. <laughs> I don't know if 
I can date a thief. <laughs> What's the child's trait? Athletic? <laughs> Delete the kid? The kid's not even the problem. <laughs> the kid's not even the problem. It's the thief. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. I'll probably come meet her though. It would, wouldn't hurt to get to know her, you know? You like the idea of an alien stepkid? That's true. That's true. I see klepto as a benefit. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a funny trait, but it's certainly a red flag. Let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly a good trait. <laughs> No! <sighs> Maybe the thief will steal your sim's heart. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she could steal Honey's heart. Speaking of, Honey, you're not wearing the good outfit. The good outfit in question. <laughs> Actually, can I take a screenshot of you? You can look sad all you want, but you're in the alien world, which is like good vibes for the thumbnail. So. Um, hello. I'm lost. Uh-oh. Oh, all the aliens are gone! <laughs> oh wait, no, me going into cast reloaded it. Wait, is that Hayden? No, that's Vincent Vaughn. Okay, well, I might as well come introduce myself. No, 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 don't leave. Okay. Vincent Vaughn is, it also is, Look. I don't know, it's not the worst name. Is that the name of an actor? I've never heard of that person, but I'm really bad at actors, so. How would I know? <laughs> Let me see. Huh? Also clumsy. Glutton, family oriented, but likes to fish. And I won't lie, fishing to me, slight red flag. Romance music, polished fashion, violin. Here's Vincent. I don't know, but like fishing. I don't know. You see a guy on a dating app and he's got like a fish in his pictures. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. It's gonna make me load it again because I went into cast on him. I'm gonna regret this. Um. So yikes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Save. And then switch. Women want me, fish fear me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, Christine just sent me a picture of some man that she claims is Vince Vaughn. I've never seen that man in my life. I've never heard of that man in my life. I'm not sure that what you're saying is a, is a real person to be perfectly honest with you. So, to me only the sim matters. I've got work in an hour. Okay, here's an option. No, no, don't, okay. I'm barely gonna get a chance to talk to you. Should I bother loading into Cass or should I wait for a second and see if more sims come? Oh, now Wanda wants to go to Olive Garden. See, this is the thing. I already have a hot almost girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm out here trying to date aliens. We're not actually dating Wanda. We are just flirting with Wanda. We're not like official or anything. Um, not the Garden of Olives. Little Dika is personally offended. <laughs> He's Italian and shaking and crying right now. But like, if Wanda's taking me to Olive Garden, I don't know, that's like, kind of a green flag. I wore this. Oh God. <laughs> huh? 
I'm gonna kiss her. <laughs> I want the chef right there in the background, I think. I mean, come on, chat. Much to think about. Much to think about. <laughs> it's, I'm really unsure of the best method, the best option. This date just keeps getting better. Oh. See? The chef is kind of hot. I- No! I can't see them! <laughs> We'll never know if the chef is hot! <laughs> we had the pop-up and the chef's face is covered by the... <laughs> we'll never find out the truth. <laughs> I have to go to work. I really have to go to work. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you're kind of right, to be honest. No, we shouldn't take time off from work because we have to finish, like, mastering the, the work stuff for our aspirations, so... Um... I had such a great time with you. Let's do it again. Well, we talked for like two seconds at Olive Garden and I'm smitten. Oh. Oh. See, now I feel bad. Hmm. Maybe I am smitten. Maybe we have to turn Wanda into an alien. Maybe that's the key. We, we might have to do it. So. Okay. We talked for two seconds at Olive Garden and now I'm smitten. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you need to- oh, you are working hard. Good call. Um, you already finished your job, so you don't even really need to be there, but you can. And Eugene, what do you do? You don't work on Tuesdays. Okay, well do you want to write a book, Eugene? Would that make you feel better? Feel like you're more useful? Here, come here. Come write a book. <laughs> How do you turn Sims into aliens, you forget? Honestly, bestie, I could not tell you. I have literally no idea. Your friend got engaged in an Olive Garden parking lot once. The wording of that implies to me that it maybe didn't work out. Are they okay? And in the parking lot? Hmm. That is Little Dika's dream. He's actually told me that before. He he says that when when he um if and when he ever gets engaged, she really wants to be in an Olive Garden parking lot. Um, yeah. So <laughs> See, he said yes. <laughs> it's true, I'm not lying. He said it before, so. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> did they propose with a breadstick? Oh, I wish they had. Research some art, friend. How did that go? Entrepreneur skill acquired, performance gain small, okay. Well, this is the thing. This is the thing, Falls. I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm kind of the kind of person where... To me, it's not like where the engagement is. It's it's more about who. Um, however, <laughs> a parking lot wouldn't be my. Ah! <gasps> You're asking out my dad. You're asking out my dad after we kissed at Olive Garden. <laughs> Well, there goes Wanda. Never mind. Never mind. I, we can't date Wanda now. This is the biggest of red flags. What do you mean you want to ask Eugene to be your boyfriend? <sighs> oh, no. I can't believe you. Like, I actually can't believe you. Oh, honey is going to be devastated. To the pond. Oh, Honestly, chat. Very embarrassed. Rejected by lover from rejected advances. Despite developing other relationships, some Sims are hesitant to leave their spouse. <gasps> 
Where did you get that idea? I'm putting sharks in this pond and you're going in it. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm devastated. And you're angry. Oh, because you've you've been exposed to things that you dislike for a very long time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you could stop doing that then. I'm sorry. Calm down. It's like not that deep. I get it. You've had a rough day. Why are we killing her? Because she asked out my dad. Wanda is is kind of dating Honey and has now asked out Honey's dad. Asked Honey to asked Honey's dad to be her boyfriend. Good riddance! <laughs> oh, you're not upset, Eugene. And if you are, that's a red flag for you, too. Well, that was easy. Okay. Okay, to the pile. Hope you enjoyed your little swim. Okay. Asked out my dad? Yeah, no. No, thank you. Oh, poor honey. I'm not sure how they'll get over this. I mean, that's honestly devastating. You know? I would be horrified. Okay, honey, welcome home from work. Here, let's come take care of your needs. You can use the bathroom. Maybe you can get a snack. We'll watch a movie. Um, wow. <laughs> Crispy and Jay, Simming and Randy and Cozy and Sophie and Not Alone and Lit Uno and Addie and Bookworm and Simmeris and Margaret and Mystic and Carly. How did I miss this? Brianna, Ali, Siren, Lemon. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm really sorry. I thought I was caught up. Um, no, you're right. Honey deserves better. Honey does deserve better. I mean, okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this, okay? Um, alien dating club? You know? Requirements. Um, trait. They're either an alien or what? You're clumsy? An alien or clumsy? Here we go! Um... Okay, there's not a lot of aliens in this world. Um... Obviously Hayden was an option. Kenzie looks old. And not all of these people are aliens. They might just be clumsy, which is the other problem. Eloise isn't an alien. Eloise is just clumsy. Um, you have to put, like, basically, I couldn't put, like, the, law, the, the club requirement to just be an alien because I'm not an alien. So I put alien or clumsy because I'm clumsy. So that way I would see both. Um... I don't think Connor is an alien, but Connor might be related to an alien. And we could always think about aging down Kenzie. Oh, hang on. Let's think. Let's think. We can figure out the traits and we'll revisit this. Okay. Hello, Connor. Hello. Are you not here? Hello? I started a club gathering for a reason. <sighs> Should we go to the alien world and do it? Maybe. You think Hayden's our best bet? Yeah, but Hayden has a kid and is a thief. You know? It's very tough. 
I'm not really, I don't know if I, this is the thing. I don't really want an extra kid. I only wanted to have like one kid. So if I have to have their kid and my kid, that's two kids. That's a little bit more than I was signing up for. Oh, we can't have club gatherings here? Are you kidding me? I give up. Are you going to delete the kid if they are an alien though? Um, you want me to delete the kid? <laughs> you want me to delete the kid? Are you serious? <laughs> That's the better option to you? <laughs> I mean... I've never, I've never deleted someone's kids so that I could date them. But, let me think about this. Let me think about this. Okay, Hayden's here. Hayden Hawk is a good name. Oh my god, 64% says delete the, are you serious? Why does everybody want to delete the kid? <laughs> That's terrible. I guess, I mean, we just killed the Sim because they tried to date my dad. Realistically, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have an honest question. What's more unethical? Deletion or murder? I feel like deleting is worse. Or I, No, no, sorry. I feel like murder is worse. Deleting just removes from existence. Murder is bad. You know? I'm clumsy, so I don't really want you to be clumsy. Can I randomize your traits? Non-committal, no, no. No. <laughs> Hates children? Maybe Hayden could hate children. Honestly, I feel like that kind of checks out. I think an alien that hates children kind of, and maybe that's high maintenance. I feel like the alien being an alien is like, oh my God, human children are a nightmare. Like, I think that kind of works out. And maybe you're an overachiever. Overachiever, high maintenance, and hates children. You can be mean, that's fine. What child? Never seen a child. Okay, can I age you down to young adults who are the same age as my sim? If we're playing with well, the sims, they die so fast. You have to be careful with it. It's really quite terrible. This feels wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, maybe you could have like some kind of fun hair. Anyway, what child? You're in hot weather? Oh. Oh my god. This outfit is kind of like Space Girl. I kind of like it. I, I can see it. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Oh, weird. I can't change her traits and pronouns when I'm on the- I guess that makes sense. Because I'm on the, like, fake version of her, but... Very Xenon? Yeah, it is- it is very Xenon. I wonder- I don't know if I like this dress, but I kind of like the vibes of that dress. Let's look and see if we can, like, mimic it. There was a child? No. No. What child? I don't think so. Um, no children here. <laughs> I think I want to keep the boots. I think the boots are kind of making it. Oh, it was the texture of that first dress that was kind of the reason it was very Space Girl, wasn't it? I think as soon as you change it, it's no longer the vibes. 
Well, oh no, no. 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 Um. Fairy. First dress was good. Yeah, I'm starting to think the first dress was the best bet. This one's too much for me, for at least for our everyday wear. So, we may have to go back. <laughs> we, we may have to go back. Um, I don't think I'll really ever have her wear, um, what the heck? I don't think I'll really ever have her wear, like, the human suit. I think I'll probably let her wear her alien outfit most of the time. I'm sorry that I called it a human suit. That was really... <laughs> I'm sorry, that was bad. That was not... I didn't like that. <laughs> that was unsettling. Yeah. No. No, I take it back. Um, that was really uncomfortable. Um, okay. I think... I might try and use, like, some of the cool new makeup. Can I get this to be a bit greener? <gasps> yes! I think that's pretty good. Okay, space girl. Kayla, what's her name? Oh, it's Hayden Hawk. Sorry, I forgot that I have to wear that. I have to use this AT&T thing for the next three months. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I have to use that AT&T thing for the next three months, um, cause they're sponsoring us, um, so, <laughs> um, I, that has to be there. <laughs> MAC eyeliner? No. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Can it be on the top right? I mean, I guess it could. Does oh god, doesn't really matter. But the top right has notifications, so it's more annoying for Cass. The thing is, The Sims 4 has important stuff in every corner. So, um, you can't really win. Top middle? Oh god, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. Uh, okay, but basically, it's actually kind of a big deal, chat. I know that most of you um, maybe hadn't heard about it yet, but... Um, Basically, AT&T has been doing this thing for the past couple of years where they've been having like the these like classes of streamers um, There's six of them and then they have a mentor Streamer and they picked me to be the mentor for god knows why I'm not putting it below my face cam. That's even worse <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm keeping it in the corner. I am literally not accepting any comments about face cam. That is horrible That's like way too obvious I want it in the corner. Let's put it right over my face. I'm not putting it like below my face cam. I want it in the corner chat. I understand what you mean. I'm, I have it in the corner for a reason. I think it's distracting when it's in the middle of the screen. I'm not gonna put it below or near my face cam. Um, but anyway, they've been having these mentors and they asked me to do it. It's actually a very, very big deal. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna keep it in the corner. Sorry if it sounds like I got stressed just then. I did. <laughs> I did get stressed just then. <laughs> Um, they also said to put it in the corner, so we shouldn't, we shouldn't argue with AT&T. Um, I think that generally, though, for most gameplay, it's gonna be better on the left side. I think you only want it in the right side right now because you can't see the Sims name, but, um, I think generally gameplay-wise, it's gonna be better on the other side. That's why I put it there. Um, okay. I think I would like to use some fun new eyeshadow. I don't like that one at all. Maybe this one? I think I like this one best. Um, left other color notice, right? Yeah, the notifications show up in the top right corner, so I think the left is better. Yeah, I had I did um, a stream on AT&T's channel uh, on Friday. It was absolutely terrifying in every way. I was so scared of that, um, but it went okay. <laughs> I made it. I did it. It was good. Um, but it was absolutely terrifying again in every single way. Um, so, <laughs> uh, but luckily again, we did it. We made it. Um, 
and uh, they're going to sponsor us for the next couple of months, which is also, like I said, very cool. Um, it's pretty cool. The whole concept, basically, is that they want to, like, support streamers. Um, like, their whole thing with, like, the the mentor program is to, like, help streamers level up their setups and stuff. You might have, a lot of you probably know about it already, um, because, like, a few of our friends were invited to do the past ones. Like, Momo did it once, Maggie, Shella, like, lots of our Sims friends have been invited to past ones. They're not in it right now, like, their three months or whatever is over, right? Um, but, uh, they've been working with a bunch of Simmers, kind of a lot, so, um, but anyway, I don't really want to spend a, a ton of time in cast or anything right now. I'm literally just doing this because um, I wanted this sim to have uh, a reasonable outfit if I'm going to date her. Um, but I don't wish to spend a ton of time in cast. In fact, I find cast incredibly stressful. My heart is already beating faster and I've been doing this for about three seconds. Um, so... <laughs> um... I just want to get it over with, <laughs> to be completely and perfectly honest with you. I don't think, like I said, I don't think the alien is going to wear her, like, alien, or her, her human suit very much. I think she's going to be mostly in her alien suit, so it doesn't really matter what she wears. Um, it seems the AT&T panel doesn't link anywhere if it's meant to. It is meant to. That's really weird. Um, oh my god, I feel so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> it's not a huge deal. Um, oh, it linked to my own channel. That's bizarre. No, actually, that is bizarre. It's set to link to... I think that's a Twitch bug. Because um, that is... Look. So why does it not work? <laughs> that is really weird. I don't know. Um, let's blame Twitch for that one. Um, and just say it's a bug because it is linked to the right place. So I don't know why it isn't working. <laughs> I'm not going to fix it right now. I'm not taking advice. Chat, I, I actually can't deal with this right now. I, I'm, I'm done with Cass. I'm stopping. <laughs> Mass and Sarah and Amethyst and Dutch and Joy and Hyde and Joelle. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, it's it's defaulting to twitch.tv forward slash www.attnt.com. That is in so incredibly distressing. I just need to put the, like, okay. Um, I actually could cry right now. <laughs> no, it's, like, not a big deal. It's just, um, sometimes when things go wrong in front of people, it's incredibly distressing, so. <laughs> it's okay. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Um, this stream is not even sponsored, technically. Like, they're just sponsoring me whole for the next three months. I don't even have to talk about it right now. Um, obviously people are gonna ask, though, so. Um, okay, done with Cass. I'm not doing that right now. Where did my sim go? Okay. See, she's an alien. She's gonna wear the alien costume most of the time, so it doesn't matter. Discuss stressed mood! <laughs> um, there you go. <laughs> There you go. Um, okay, I'm probably gonna go to use the bathroom and stuff too. Um, you cry when things go wrong in private, you're good. Yeah, I've just had a really overwhelming day today. I've been really busy the past couple of weeks, obviously, um, and sometimes things just get to you more than others. I'm, it's fine, it's not a big deal what just happened. I'm just really, again, um, stressed out. <laughs> and so, you know when you're stressed out and small things make you feel like you're gonna cry? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the moment, so. All right, first night in the new house. This is kind of fun. And the alien is playing the guitar in my parents' bedroom. Um, um, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Okay, well, you keep it up if you want. I'm not gonna complain, I guess. It's fine. Um, you almost cried walking home from work because your hands were full and your hair was in your face? No, you are so valid. You are so valid in that. I, I totally understand. Um, Pug and Anna and Pizza and Kings and Poet and Expired and Kenzo and Sophie and Sushi and Clary and Catelyn and Fancy and Lele. Thank you for the subs and stuff. 
Um, this is Gen 3 of Not So Berry Toph, but it's Gen 13 of this family. We started Not So Berry on like Gen 11. We did like a 10 Gen Legacy and then started Not So Berry, so. Hence, um, you know. <laughs> You've cried over the most ridiculous things. Oh, Snowy, me too. <laughs> Oh, Snowy, me too. Hey, Kayla, welcome into the stream. Um, it is good to see you. Um, <laughs> I hope you had a good one. Um, we're playing the Not So Berry Challenge at the moment to catch you up to speed. I'm thinking about dating this alien sim named Hayden Hawk. Uh, she's currently playing on the computer in my mom's room, which is kind of weird. Um, and we just moved into a new house because we just started the Elogen. So you caught us at kind of a good time, but I hope you had a good stream, Kayla. Um, you gotta run. Have a good night, Kayla. Thank you for hanging out. It was really good to see you. Um, I hope your stream was okay. House is on the gallery. Yeah, Charles. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, um, okay. Well, we just have to wait until the, the, men the, the morning comes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted. Um, Gen 13, can I get to Gen 3? Yeah, we've been playing with this family on stream for a super long time. I'm, like, really attached to these sims. <laughs> um, the Rocket Bean Center is something. It's cool, isn't it? Look at it from the outside. That's a favorite part of the house. I really like it. Um, thanks, Sims player. I'm sorry you had a rough day. Um, if you all missed it, chat, um, there's water damage at my new house. Uh, in the ceiling of the kitchen that I literally finished renovating last week. I'm not joking. They finished the kitchen last week, like finished grouting the tile. That was the last thing. There's water damage because the air conditioner broke and leaked through the ceiling. <sighs> and there's a giant hole in my ceiling. <laughs> I, well, because they like cut out the water damage so it could dry out, right? So it's one of those has to get worse before it gets better. But like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's just been a rough couple of days, you know? It's like one of those, like, everything's going wrong kind of moments. Um, as I'm sure we've all experienced in the past. Um, so, was oh no, the, a the air conditioning unit isn't new. The air conditioning unit is pretty old. It's probably going to need replaced eventually. Um, but not, like, I'm not doing that now because I'm... <laughs> I'm renovating the house. <laughs> um, the youth air conditioning unit is kind of old, so it's probably going to need replaced eventually anyway, but they fixed it. Um, but it isn't like a new AC unit or anything. Um, so I guess that's a good thing, that it's not like a new one that broke, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. <laughs> um, but it's just one of those... <laughs> One of those days, so. <laughs> um, just had to replace yours. Yeah, they're so expensive. It's not a fun thing to have to pay for. No, certainly not. Um, certainly not. Um, also, Alexandra, I say this with love. Uh, I hope you understand, but um, I do have a move-in date. I'm not gonna tell the internet. I've learned my lesson um, about what I should and should not share. And what I should not share is personal private information like when I'm moving so I'll move and then I'll tell you <laughs> uh, I know that you don't mean to be creepy but like there are people who are being creepy to me at the moment as we speak so I'm just like <laughs> we're gonna keep that one to ourselves until later <laughs> but I know that you did it's not a bad question it totally makes sense but I hope you understand when I say I'm gonna try to not answer that one um just in case um just in case you know because no one can be trusted. <laughs> um, okay, I think um, you don't have work until later. Four. I'm probably going to have you work on, like, playing some chess or something. Get your... Oh, you know what else? Actually, you know what you should do? Let's work on doing upgrades on this thing. Um, but anyway, I was going to say, so today, as part of this, like, AT&T thing that we were talking about, um, I had, like, a, a mentor meeting with, like, the people, um, the other people that are being sponsored by AT&T this month, basically, so they could, like, ask me questions about streaming. It was, like, a lot of, like, oh, like, um, at what point did you hire your editor? Like, how do you find an editor? Do you hire out anything else? Like, what, how does management work? Like, kind of questions like that. Um, and we were just sort of talking about that. But we also kind of got to talking about, like, people harassing you on the internet, because unfortunately that's, like, a thing that happens, um, to, like, everyone. Um, where was I going with this? Wait, I had a storyline. I had a point to make. I had a, I think it was funny as well. And now I've forgotten. 
either way, we were talking about it today and it was therapeutic. <laughs> Me and the, the other people. It's one of those things that like, when you get a chance to talk to other streamers, especially with a thing like that, where it's like such a um, niche experience, like, <laughs> it's such a weird thing that, like, most people don't have that happen to you. Um, it is kind of therapeutic to, like, have a chance to talk to other people about that. You know, like, other people who have had the, th the same things happening to them. Um, because, I mean, obviously it sucks that it also happened to them. But it is one of those, like, oh, that's a relief. <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of a good chance to, like, vent with people, right? Like, um, so that was, it was nice to get to talk to them today. Um about that because I don't really know anybody else that that's happened to. So, <laughs> um, it's, it's sort of nice to get to talk to people about it. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's a weird one. It's definitely a weird one, but anyway, um, <laughs> love you chat. Most of you are not like that. It's very rare, but you know how it goes. Um, yeah, they, they asked me to be the mentor. Tori, to be honest, I don't really feel um, like I should have been, but they did pick me, so, <laughs> it's very cool, <laughs> um, but anyway, hopefully I'll be good at it, <laughs> hopefully I'm able to help people, I guess, I mean, to an extent, I do a lot of that kind of thing, like, for a lot of my Sims friends, um, to the best of my ability, in the sense that, like, sometimes my Sims friends will be like, hey, can you help me draft this email to, like, a sponsor? Hey, is this, like, a decent rate for a sponsor? <laughs> like, a lot of people, um, come to me with questions like that, which I'm super glad that I can help with, because when I was first starting out, I did not have anyone that I could ask questions like that. Um, and so, um, I don't know, I've been doing that a bunch, so... <laughs> um, I- hopefully I'll do a good job at it, even though I don't feel like I'm that good at it. <laughs> um, oh, it's not actually a rug, Mick. This is a- uh, it's flooring. It's flooring from the decor to the max kit. Um, but it's floor that I placed so it looks like a rug. Um, which is cool, so. Um, but, anyway. Um, yeah, Tori, I can get a link. Let me see, actually, let me see if I can get my mods to get a link, because I have a screenshot of all their names, but it would be easier for me, um, if my mods could link them. So, <laughs> give me one second. <laughs> um, it would be easier if I didn't have to type them out, so. Let me just pull it up and then I'll send them to- send them to you, so that you can see all their usernames. Um, I'm scrolling past the- there we go. Um, I take screenshot and send to mods. Oh, nope, that- that one is cut off. Let me try this screenshot instead. Um, okay. I put it in mods. That's like their- their full usernames. Um, so. Are you graduating? No, Charles is a sponsor. <laughs> it's a sponsor. It's a sponsor. Um, okay. I have work in 20 minutes. Do I want to command? Um, actually, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think that would be good. Um, I think that's a good idea, Hope. Thank you. Um, it could be like class of 2022 or something so that we could link them easily when people ask. Um, they're not all sim streamers, no. None of them are sim streamers. Um, I am, but they aren't. <laughs> There's a bunch of different kinds of streamers, um, that they've invited to do it. Again, I didn't pick them. It was, like, picked by AT&T, so. Um, okay. You work hard. You are home. Do you want to do some cooking? I don't know how much food we have with us. Um, not a lot. Let me see if I can make some more. Are they nice? Yeah, I've really liked getting the chance to talk to them. I haven't talked to them a ton, a ton, but we did that stream together and then we talked for like an hour today and they were all really nice. Um, I was glad about that, so. <laughs> um, no, Tomato's an adult, not a young adult. Um, Laura, Tomato's an adult. Tomato has, uh, 14 day- oh my god! <sighs> 14 days until becoming an elder! <laughs> Yeesh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, they're not all brand new streamers. Um, a lot of them, they've all been streaming for a long time. Um, and they're sort of varying sizes and stuff too. Again, that was the point of AT&T picking them. I didn't pick them. I can't answer to why they picked them. I'm just telling you their names. <laughs> um, I didn't pick them or anything. Um, 
So there's a cabinet there, by the way, if people were asking what's missing, it's a cabinet. Um, let big corporations pay for Kayla's house. <laughs> no, I'm serious, Noir. I've, I've like, I've always had AT&T. So, <laughs> they want to sponsor me. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, I am not complaining about that. Honey has a great idea for a new ship navigation system, but it hasn't been approved by their bosses yet. Um, they know it'll save everyone from their time and energy if they just tried it. Should they install it without permission or wait until they get the final go-ahead? Install it anyway. Performance loss medium. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, never mind. That was a flop. Um, so. Yikes. <laughs> Hey, Tony, thanks for the 24 months, and Pinklefish, and Captain, and, and Blogger, and Yuri, and Ice Cream, and Amanda, and everybody. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. Okay. I don't even know what to do during the day with everybody gone. I'm, like, genuinely stuck. I have no clue what I should be doing right now. I've already maxed all of my skills. I'm, like, there's nothing left for me to do. Cook some more gourmet meals. Just get us a big stack of extra stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll put the names after. It's hard to do, like, a list of them. Um, you know, Hope, because when you try and put, like, so many links all in one command, it, like, kind of looks messy no matter what. So I think it's okay. Um, I think it's alright. Oh, hey! <laughs> Wait, Josh, we were just talking about you! <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. Uh, we were literally just talking about all the people in the class of 2022, so that's actually really funny timing. My mods were, like, literally just making a command with everybody's links in it. Um, <laughs> we were literally just talking about this, so that's really funny. Well, Josh, thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Um, we were, um, we were just talking about that. But anyway, um, everyone, I have, uh something that I'd like to show you all. See, we play The Sims here on my channel most of the time. Um, and in this save file, uh, <laughs> um, this is my family. These are all my graves. <laughs> um, I've been collecting these for many years now. Um, it's, it's my most proud accomplishment. Um, some of these Sims died of old age, though not all of them did. And, um, welcome in. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> no, when I say collecting, I'm dead serious. Like, sometimes, not all of these people related to me. Like, some of these people, I literally just found them places. Like, sometimes you'll be, like, at the bar, and then someone will die. <laughs> like, they'll, like, die of old age at the bar and just, like, drop dead on the floor. And I'll bring them home with me. Um, like this one, see? Died on my first date. That's cute. Don't remember him. But brought him home, put him in the pile, you know. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. Earlier today, actually, uh, so this sim, this is my sim, Honey, uh, and they're, like, almost girlfriend. We weren't actually dating yet, but we kind of had, like, a thing going with this sim named Wanda. Well, Wanda comes over and asks my dad to be her boyfriend. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> kind of weird, so I killed her. Um, she's new. Uh, I just put her here today. I actually fed her to my sharks. Um, this isn't, this isn't, like, always how I play The Sims, but that is how I play The Sims in this save, so. Just thought I'd catch you all up to speed. Um, but we have a good time, so. Uh, welcome in. <laughs> and those of you in my chat, if you don't follow Josh already, my mods will probably link his channel again for you, um, so that you can go over there and say hi, <laughs> but, um, it's good to see you all. <laughs> Little Tika, thank you for that sub gift, and, uh, and X, thank you for the six-month resub, too. Um, okay. Um, in the meantime, what are you doing sleeping on that? Stop, stop, stop. Um, this pond is always in your build. Yeah. 
I do I do take advantage of that pond. I, I often use it. But in my defense, when you can have a pond full of sharks in your house, like, why wouldn't you, you know? Um, so, ooh, promoted to command center lead. There we go. So we're doing this thing called the Not So Berry Challenge, which is a challenge that I wrote where basically each generation has a different like, oh, I'm so tired all the time. Each gen has like a different color theme. So this is the yellow gen, hence the yellow house. Um, and then the yellow gen sim has like all yellow traits, clumsy, ambitious, loner. Um, and this one happens to be an astronaut. And then like the next gen has different rules. The previous generation, their mom um, was a politician. She was the red generation. Um, so, you know, kind of each, each generation kind of has like a different theme and different rules. Um, and this one we have to like finish the astronaut career and like max the handiness skill and, you know, all that sort of thing. So, um, we're almost done with our aspiration actually, <laughs> uh, which is quite funny. It's, it's gone pretty quickly for us. Um, we got kind of lucky with that, but, um, anyway, <laughs> it's been fun. Okay, the other thing, the only thing that we have to do left for this generation, um, the red gen, is that she has to get married as an elder, um, and only as an elder. She previously dated Eugene when they were, like, in high school, and then they had a kid together kind of straight out of high school. That kid is honey. Um, and then, um, we left him at the altar. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we got, uh, we, we got engaged, we started to get married, um, left him at the altar in the middle of the ceremony. Uh, and now we're back with him again. We figured maybe he's like our high school sweetheart. We could end up marrying him when we're older. So, um, yeah. I realized that uh, it's, <laughs> um, it's bad. So yeah, I put this voodoo doll on the floor cause I had to get it out of my inventory and then I kind of forgot about it. I should put that back in my backpack. Sorry chat. Okay, I might send everybody to bed quickly too, because I'm ready to be done with this now. How many days a week does Honey have work? Okay, we're off tomorrow. That's good. We can do some skill building tomorrow, thankfully. Um, that'll help. That'll make tomorrow a little bit easier. Um, yeah, I like this red rug too. I like the furniture in this room. I like this bed too. Um, so... I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, that was my computer, not yours. <laughs> I was taking a screenshot. <laughs> um, you need to get your fitness skill up. Oh no. Okay, we have to do that today probably. When we go when, on our day off, we can go skill build a little bit. Um, is there a specific order to follow for each generation's color? Yeah, um, I have the rules posted on my Tumblr. I can link it for you. If you just Google like not so berry, it pops up, but on my Tumblr, um, they're not in like rainbow order. They're kind of like randomly ordered based on how I felt um, and how I thought they fit together well. <laughs> um, so do without information what you will, but it goes mint, rose, yellow, then gray. <laughs> um, I guess Honey could swim some laps. That's true. How much fitness skill do you gain from that? Um, is that, is that like a good, easy fitness skill gain or is it slow? Um, take shower, use bathroom. Yeah, I'm playing music quietly right now. Um, I don't usually play it very loud because I personally, for my own sanity, can only handle so much of The Sims 2 soundtrack. It's beautiful, but I listen to her every day for hours a day, so. I don't think I want to, I don't think that I want to do swimming to get my skill up. I think it's probably easier to go to the gym. Um, so I might go straight to the gym instead. We should renovate this gym soon. That could be a fun thing to do this week. What am I streaming this week? We could always do something like that tomorrow? No, that's boring. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out. What did I say I was going to do tomorrow? I'm like looking at my stream schedule. Um, oh, I'm gonna play with the high school pack tomorrow. Never mind. That's more fun. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. Sorry. Uh, let's go work out. <laughs> um, oh, also, small life update. Um, 7 a.m. Oh my gosh. I thought it was later in the day. Um, 
the small life update is that next week, so not this week, but next week, um, I'm gonna be traveling for a little bit because Dan's brother is getting married. Um, so I have to fly to the UK for Liam's wedding. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna be here next week because of Liam's wedding. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. I'll, I'll remind you. <laughs> um, it's gonna throw off our schedule a little bit because Dan's brother had to go and get married. <laughs> um, I did buy a new dress recently. I didn't take a picture of myself in it, but I did buy a new dress recently for it, so that'll be fun. Um, but anyway. Ugh, brothers, am I right? Well, I probably shouldn't say that about Dan's brother, but about my own I will. Well, show me. Yeah. You're thinking you already got married? Well, we've been talking about Liam's wedding so much for the past couple of years because obviously there was such a big, like, worry um, before Dan got his green card um, about, like, us really hoping that Dan would have his green card in time to go to the wedding. Luckily, he got his green card a couple months ago, so it's okay. But basically, um, Dan obviously moved here last July, and then there's a very long time to process to get the card and all this, and he can't leave the country until he had the green card. So we were really worried that, like, the wedding would come and go, and he wouldn't have the green card yet, and he wouldn't be able to leave the country and go. Um, so we've talked about it a lot. It's definitely been, like, a thing on our minds, like, because it would be horrible if he missed it, you know? But luckily it's fine. What in America is a green card? Uh, it's like his um, proof of permanent residency. It's, it's like um, his permission to live and work in the country. Um, it's a physical little card, they call it a green card, but really it's a proof of permanent residency. It's, uh, once you get the green card, you are allowed to live and work in the country, you can stay here. Um, it's not a citizenship, um, it's just permanent residency, so we can't, like, vote or anything, obviously. Um, but he can live and work here. So, is the card actually green? Uh, no, I think maybe it used to be. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of one, like one of the template ones. They are, and I kid you not, one of the most aggressively American things you will ever see. Like, look at what it looks like. <laughs> um, there's like a bunch of stars. I think Dan's even has an eagle on it. I think this one looks like not up to date. Um, but it's got like the, yeah, it's like the most aggressively American thing you'll ever see. They look like this. So. Um. <laughs> Uh, but I think they used to be more green, hence the name, but maybe not so much anymore. Um, the ones you see are green. Oh, really? Maybe you see older ones. Obviously, Dan's only got issued recently. No, Dan's isn't valid for 40 years. It's only valid for two years, Bobby. Um, in two years, so Dan basically has a temporary green card, um, because obviously he got it, like, through marriage. Um, and so they give you, like, a temporary two-year, like, conditional green card first, basically. Um, and then we, like, filed to remove the conditions. The conditions being that if in two years we aren't divorced, he can get a 10-year green card. <laughs> um, and then in that time, he can become a citizen, so. Uh, and when you're a citizen, you don't need to worry about that kind of thing. Um, no, Chelsea, I think the Boundless thing, Boundless is, like, an immigration website. I think they're, like, maybe Im immigration attorneys, but there's, like, immigration information on a website called Boundless, and I think that's what the, the Boundless thing meant. I think it just has to do with, it probably is like a watermark from the website. Um, but, oh, Tida, I had never, oh my god, my cat has appeared. I had never heard that. Um, I think it used to literally be a green card. Um, but, I don't know. Um, anyway, the cat is here. She's on my desk. <laughs> um, lovely, lovely. Can you get your butt out of my face? Um, all right, I'm gonna work out until it makes me stop because I would very much like to get this skill up as high as I can. Um, no, if you're born in America, you're a citizen, so you don't need to have um, like permission to live here. You don't need to go through any sort of immigration process. Um, it would be similar, I don't know what country you live in, but your country probably has a similar like permanent residency kind of system. They might call it something different, but most countries have that kind of thing. So, um, like to be a resident and not like an actual citizen. Usually there's like a longer process to become a citizen than, than just that. So, um, okay, anyway, hurry up. Finish. Level five, that's good. Can you just like permanently endurance run? Maybe that's too much even for me. 
<laughs> um, maybe that's too much even for me to just keep standing there working out. Let's go work on our handsiness skill or something. Um, uh, Aria, Beck, Robin, Bob, and Serena, and Billy, and Kai, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, okay. The current heat wave will be ending just in time for me to go to the UK. No, look, it probably will come back. Oh, don't save us. It's just, I mean, and also I'm from Florida, so let's be real for a second. I'm used to it, and at this rate, I'm bringing it with me. <laughs> I'm dragging the heat with me when I go there. Um, I didn't just cheat their needs. It's fine. Snap, I can't see the screen. I'm trying to read my needs. Handsiness 8, fitness 5, logic 6. Maybe we could go just keep playing chess. That might help. Um, no, please, no more hate waves. No, please. Um, no, it's horrible. I'm sorry you've all been dealing with that. It really is horrible. Um, okay. <laughs> is it Jasmine? Oh my god, that is very unpleasant. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, snap. She's licking my hand. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Uh, now she's trying to eat my headphones, so never mind. Um, rule number one, never underestimate UK heat wave ever. <laughs> I know it's terrible, but for the record, I've been there during heat waves before, and also I live in Florida. So, I, I've... I've seen it all, but I am sorry that you all have to deal with it, because I know that you're not used to it, and it's horrible. Um, but, um, also, chat, some people asking, um, if you're having issues with your Twitch sub syncing in the Discord, um, that is not my fault. In fact, it is Twitch and Discord's fault. They aren't automatically syncing anymore. They used to sync every, like, hour. Now, they just don't sync. Um, it's a known bug across Twitch and Discord. I saw one server say that they talked to Discord and that Discord said they're only gonna sync it once a week now, which is horrifying to me, um, and I hope that's not true. Um, but if you, like, sub and can't immediately see the... Eugene. If you sub and you can't immediately see the sub channels, that's not your fault, nor is it my fault. That is a Discord problem, and it's very horrible. Um, I have to, like, manually sync it. I usually do it, like, every night when I get off stream. I'll manually sync it. Um, but I can't just, like, sit there, like, constantly syncing it all day. So, like, earlier somebody was like, I subbed 45 minutes ago, I don't have the role yet. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna sync it once, and I can't just, like, sync it constantly, you know? Like, I'm not, like, gonna be sitting there when I'm offline, like, sync, 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 sync. So I usually do it right when I get off stream, um, and hope that it, um... Sarah, my love, I'm not arguing with you. I don't understand why the Brits do this. I love you guys, but like, I'm not trying to say that your heat waves aren't bad. I literally said it's terrible. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I'm used to the heat too. <laughs> and so I'm gonna be okay when I go visit you. <laughs> whenever, whenever you talk about the weather, the British, they get really upset. Every time. I understand you, friend. I'm married to a British man. Like, I, I really, I'm on your side, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I know that, like, the Americans, they test your patience when they talk about your weather, but, like, I'm on your side, so. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, I know what it's like. <laughs> um, but they get so- and they're like, but you have air conditioning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've also been in the UK a lot in the summertime. It's okay. It's okay. And then they'll be like, but it rains so much in the UK. And I'm like, okay, again, I live in Florida. It's really weird. They get really defensive about the weather. And I don't know why they're trying to argue with me about it because like, I'm, I'm on your side. Like I know what it's like there. <laughs> but it's very interesting. They get really defensive. <laughs> they always do. Um, Reduce people attacking us when we complain about the heat. I mean, I know that the internet does that a little bit. Um, but this is a safe space, friend. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> they get really defensive in my chat. <laughs> and nobody else does this, it's only them. <laughs> it's 
weird. People just in general get so defensive about weather. Like, you'll be like, oh no, it's kind of cold outside. And they'll be like, well, where I am, it's negative 500. And it's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's still cold. Like, <laughs> and in the same sense, you'll be like, yeah, I'm used to the heat because I'm from Florida. And they'll be like, well, where I am, we don't have air conditioning. So you don't know what it's like. <laughs> And it's like, okay, it's, you don't have to get this defensive. We all have bad weather, okay? <laughs> everybody's got bad weather. <laughs> everybody wants to suffer. I think everybody, no matter where you are, wants to have the worst weather. Like, no matter where you're from, they'll be like, well, where I am, it's like this. <laughs> it's like everybody's competing about it. <laughs> It's constant. It's constant. In Twitch chat especially, it's constant. As soon as you bring up anything. Like, even when I say it's hot, the other Americans, because it doesn't usually get, like, so there's parts of America that get, like, significantly hotter. Like, like in Texas, it might be, like, over 100 degrees. It's not usually over 100 degrees in Florida. Um, but it is a swamp, literally, in Florida. So the heat is a different kind of beast. Much like everywhere is a different kind of beast, right? But then when I say it's hot, somebody in Arizona is going to be, like, well, <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's 120. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but everybody just wants to wants to win the the suffering Olympics, right? We want to all we want to be the worst, the worst weather. <laughs> yeah, Florida is a different kind of beast, though. It's so humid. It's it's so gross. Um. But, um, it's funny when people come in here and talk about it, though. And it is a common occurrence. It gets brought up a lot, which is also kind of funny. Um, okay. Anyway. Florida's, like, 100% humidity. All right. Less than 100. You know? <laughs> right now, it's 70% humidity. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, Chloe, Sad Strawberry, Gemma, Paula, Snaily, Angelica, thank you all for the subs and stuff. You, you, um, that's icky. <laughs> um, Power Conservation Day is now ended. Oh, I didn't even notice that was happening. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm removing that. That's not happening. Okay, let me see if I can instant enact one, cause... Um, let's do the tech support one. Yeah? Yeah? My birthday is this weekend! Sorry, I heard people talking about August and the sticky weather in the summer in Florida, and it reminded me that August is horrible, but my birthday is on Sunday! Just so you all know, I just want to make sure we're clear, my birthday is soon! <laughs> um, love pugs, thanks for the three months too. Just saying, I'm just saying. Is it your boy boyfriend's birthday too? Really? That's funny timing. Um, what are we gonna do that stream? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. <laughs> I'm not sure how I want to spend my birthday on stream yet. I was th trying to think about it yesterday when I was like writing out my schedule and I was like, I'm still not sure, so. <sighs> I don't know. I need to think about it more, because <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> we should do punishments like Shella did. No, no. You see, like, Shella ended up taking a shot of ketchup on her birthday a couple days ago. That's not for me. I don't wish to do things that I don't want to do on my birthday. You, c I can't be convinced. I absolutely refuse. <laughs> I refuse to give in to you, chat. Not on my birthday. Um, that sounds horrible. But, anyway, I don't really even know what I want to do yet, so I need to think about it. Um, but, anyway. Anyway. Sleep through the night, let me save the game, too. Your birthday's in eight days? Oh, exciting! That's fun. I hope you have a good birthday. Um, very, very, very fun. Pretty sure she nearly cried because of the ketchup. Yeah, I know. I don't know why she agreed to do that. I've learned my lesson about making promises that I don't want to keep. 
um, I really learned my lesson. <laughs> so I don't, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, again, you, you live and you learn. Um, so did I do that? Oh, back in the day. Yeah. I agreed to dye my hair twice and I didn't even want to. <laughs> and I was like, oh, if this happens, I'll dye my hair. And because I thought it wasn't going to happen. And then I had to dye my hair twice and I didn't even like it. Should dye your hair pink? Well, I did <laughs> and I didn't like it. <laughs> um, so I don't really, I don't know. I don't really want to dye my hair a color again. Um, I found that I... I don't know, just wasn't my thing, really. I'm sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. Did it the second time? Yeah, I had purple hair and pink hair. Um, only knew about purple dye. Oh, the purple was longer ago. Um, the pink was a little bit more recent than that. So, just dyed Dan's hair. We did dye Dan's hair recently, that was fun. Um, I did that on stream. Can we see pictures? I mean, I don't really want to search for them, but they're on my Instagram, so you can scroll back um, and see if you can find. Um, but um, that might be a good call. <laughs> All right, Pig Summer Blowout is tomorrow. We have the day off, that'll be fun. See? Should try blue? No, I will never dye my hair blue. When I had purple hair, um, Steph dyed it and she put like, we had like a bunch of purple and some blue. It was kind of indigo-y a little bit in some parts. And obviously, as we know, blue fades to green um, and green stays in your hair forever. <laughs> Um, and I, it was horrible. I had like a green tint to my hair for ages. I even, I, I dyed over it brown because I was so over it and you could still see the green hue in the light. It was horrible. <laughs> um, also Miss Lollipop, thank you for the raid. It's good to see you. Welcome in. Grave update. Um, <laughs> every time I get raided, I'm like, look at my graves. <laughs> look how it's going. Um. But anyway, I learned my lesson. I won't be dyeing my hair blue. Mm -mm. Um, his resume isn't impressive yet, but Eugene wants his career to move a little faster. Should he just be honest about not having much experience or punch up his resume with some things that aren't 100% technically true? Ooh, you should lie. Performance gain small. Oh, good. Personally, I think lying is always the answer. So... <laughs> I'm not missing a counter. It's a cabinet, friend. When I'm playing on um, the walls cutaway, it hides it. It's kind of annoying because I like how it looks when it's full, but I'm not missing a counter. Um, it's actually there. So, you hear that, kids? Lying will get you ahead in life. Yeah. Um, we had previously put, um, like, a counter in it so that it would cause people less stress. Um, but you can kind of see it when the walls are up, like it kind of clips a little bit. But would that stress you out less if it was like that? Because people keep bringing it up. Um, the graves concern me, Kayla, and I'm okay with that. Hi, Steven. <laughs> Thank you for 57 months. Oh, I'm missing work. Oh, no. I got distracted by my graves. Oops. Oops. Um, well... Here we go. <laughs> I need to age you up soon. I might just give up and make you get older faster because I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over you being a young adult. Here, should I um, play with the cat a little bit? Play with laser pointer? It's actually bad for cats to play with laser pointers with them. Um, I assume dogs too. But the problem is it's like very distressing to them that they like are like chasing this laser and never actually catch it. So if you were to like, like at the very end, like put the laser on a toy so they can like grab the toy, um, but they'll start looking for like all light if you play with laser pointers with them. Um, and it's like very distressing to them because they can't ever actually catch it. Um, but if you could like give them a reward at the end so they feel like they caught it. Um, the same thing happens to dogs because then if you, if you play with them with a laser pointer too much, they'll do the same thing where they just constantly look for lights all the time once they get used to the laser pointer and... Um, 
but obviously a lot of people didn't know that. So, um, it's not your fault if you didn't know, but, um, but it's so, like, it's so normalized. People talk about it all the time. So, um, but anyway, we do the best, exactly hope we do the best with what we do the best with what we know, but, um, and it's so normalized. A lot of people didn't know, <laughs> like my sim, my sim is playing with one right now. <laughs> um, okay. Shall I maybe offer you friendship? Talk to you? There's your treat. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, oh, you're mopping the carpet. Oh, good. This is the yellow gen, Adelaide, but obviously the yellow gen's mom is the rose gen, so that's why she's here. Um, oh, oh, I wanna have, I'm probably gonna have my yellow gen sim repair that instead of you, because they need to get their handiness skill up. Do you want to go explore space for fun? Promoted to blogger? Oh, Eugene! Good job, buddy! In the distance, Tomato sees another ship blast its trash out the airlock. <gasps> now all that space debris is hurling Tomato's way. A rusty waffle iron strikes her craft and tears a hole. What? A waffle iron? Tomato is sucked out into deep space. She takes a moment to be thankful she put on her full space suit today. Now what? This is my worst nightmare. Like, I literally have nightmares about this sort of thing. Oh, why didn't Tomato spring for the extra tacky coating on her space gloves? Breathing heavily, she bounces down on the body of the ship, desperate grabs, failing to find purchase. Finally, she gets hold of some cables, ripping the hydraulic line from the ship's stabilizers. The ship automatically activates its emergency beacon. Do you often find yourself in outer space? No, but I find outer space to be incredibly scary, so I have nightmares about it. <laughs> Tomato's oxygen is down to fumes when a trader ship passes by and detects the signal from the beacon. She's saved. The ship's alien cook makes her something like a grilled cheese while the ship's mechanic fixes the whole breach with his terrible four claws. Tomato lives to explore another day. Oh, sorry. The story is just so boring. I mean, yawn. No, I'm not an astronaut, girly. I'm very afraid of space. Very afraid of space. It is just not for me. It is just not for me. Could she have died? I don't think so. But if she had died, that would have been really sad. <laughs> if she had died, that would have sucked. I won't lie. Um, so. <laughs> Do you know what? I have an idea. What if, because we have the weekend off, what if we age up Tomato and Eugene and we do our wedding this weekend? Let's make a hamburger cake. Thoughts? Thoughts? <laughs> okay, let's craft it. This should be fun. I'm just gonna make them into elders because I can't deal with it anymore. I don't want you to be an adult for like 12 more days. It's too much. Too much. Okay, add some birthday candles. Blow out the candles. Happy birthday. Tomato aged up. Ooh. Fun hairstyle. I like the blue. Different vibe for you, but it's interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna put her red hair back, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, Eugene, it's time for you to get old. Fear of dead-end job and fear of unfulfilled dreams. Okay, well, you'll quit your job, my love. And you wanna make an enemy? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That is bad vibes, to be perfectly honest with you. Did he get a fear of death just then? Oh, I didn't even see it. I mean, if I lived in a house like this one, I would also have a fear of death. I mean, seriously, have you seen these Sims? It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. We have a giant pile of like 70 graves or something. 
so you know checks out <laughs> I haven't actually had a sip of my actual gameplay get a fear of death yet. I had when I was doing some like testing when the update first came. Um, I had like some test sims get a fear of death. Um, but I didn't have like an, any actual sims gain one. Oh my god, he's having a terrible time. Oh, sorry buddy. Do you want to retire? Would that make you feel better if you retired? There you go. Will that fix your fear of dead end job? He's very scared. <laughs> uh, Luna and PB and J and Carolina and Therese and Ellie and Jaden and Ellie and Margaret with the subs. Bubba with the two gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, death is inevitable. Eugene knows that. Eugene just didn't think that he would be thinking about it so soon. There is still so much to do. How will Eugene get everything done if death is just around the corner? Is it safer to just hide forever? I don't like this. This is too much. This is too much. I am incredibly distressed. Oh, it wouldn't let him retire. I had, I had heard about this bug. My friend Chibi had this bug. That is very annoying. Why are you just standing in the fountain? <laughs> I need to have Honey fix that, but oh, maybe you can come do it now. Do you have to go to work today? Oh good, you don't. All right, so we can actually do the wedding today if we want to. All right, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Shall we? What's the kitty's name? Thank you for asking. My cat's name is Mustard. So, Eugene had a nightmare. Oh, Eugene, you've had a really rough day. Oh, he's crying in bed. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I actually feel really bad. He's had a really rough day. <laughs> Eugene is like really going through it right now. <sighs> Poor guy. We'll finish sleeping through the night. Um, and then we'll probably go set up their outfits for the wedding after that, I think. Um, I think that would be good. Are you gonna eat some cake this morning? Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, go away. Oh my god, we have so much, like, so much money. I legitimately don't even know what to spend it on. Like... Maybe we could get some fancier toilets or something? Like, I mean, who knows? This would be nice, I guess. Cause, like, we have literally all the money in the world. I almost want to cheat it away. Cause we're so rich. No one wants to be this rich, in The Sims specifically. <laughs> I'm speaking specifically of The Sims. Oh, tomatoes, a rising star. Okay. Get leftovers. Donate it to charity. Uh, I guess we could do that. Oh, that's spoiled. Ew, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Stop. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. You want to clean out the leftovers? Clear it up. Clear it out. Clean out spoiled food. Clean out spoiled food. There we go. Okay, well, I guess maybe, oh, look at them kissing. Let's go dress them up for their wedding. I think that would be fun. I like this plan. I wonder if the high school pack came with any good um, suit stuff that's yellow. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Finally, something that I wanted. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about this. That is excellent. Um, okay, I think, should we like switch our hair? I shouldn't use that one because I use that one for the mint gen. Now that we're a little bit older, it might not hurt to do a slight makeover anyway. Um...
I do kind of like that one. Hmm. Hmm. I wish that we had this hair without the headband because I love this hair. I love this hair. One of the lighter yellow for the hair. Do you know what? These people keep coming into my chat that have never been here before and telling me that I should change my cheese hair. I'm not trying to accuse you specifically, Ross. It's just, it's so common. These people keep coming in and they're like, why the cheese hair? I love the cheese hair. It's the yellow gen. It's perfect. It's so important. <laughs> uh, but anyway, people keep coming in and telling me to change it. And sometimes they're mean about it. <laughs> sometimes they're not very nice with their wording. Um, oh, here we go. Now this is the one. <laughs> Thoughts? This is like the most appropriate use for the cheese hair. Exactly. Like we have the yellow gen of not so berry. It's perfect. So many of the base game hairs have such bad texture to them. This one legitimately looks horrible compared to the newer hairs. No. This one's one of my favorites. I will say that. Um. I use this one for the mint gen, so we shouldn't do that again. I also kind of liked this one, I won't lie. What do you think? I think this one's cute. The romantic garden stuff one. I think that would be good. Maybe we could switch it. Let me, let me. Pax, Romantic Garden. We had the space buns before because my sim is into space. Um, you know, astronaut, space sim, space buns. <laughs> that was that was kind of the whole idea behind it. <laughs> um, by the way, my sim uses they, them pronouns, just so you all know. Um, I know that the thingy right now is being blocked by this thingy. Um, but... Um, Okay, let me look around at uh, seeing about getting some new outfits while we're here. We don't need to use a ton of new outfits, but it might be kind of fun to... I really like these jeans. Although, I don't know if these are giving, like, I'm an astronaut. So, <laughs> you're fine, Gemma. Don't worry. Um, it's not your fault you didn't know. But just so you all know in the future. Um... Maybe we could make these jeans work. Um, those checkered pants, did you think? Let me go back to the high school pack. I really liked this one too. Um, high school years. I mean, there are yellow ones. Maybe we could try and use those for like another outfit. Let me put some like, I want like baggier jeans for this, but like, for example, I really like these. I think these are really good. Honey's a young adult, but like freshly a young adult, soul soul. Um, freshly a young adult. I'm not changing this outfit. This one's staying, it's very important to me. I need you all to know that. Are there like goggles or something? That feels right. Or we could wear this so we can breathe in space. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry, that's that's silly. We need these ones. Anyway, let's try and make these, these pants work. I haven't used these ever. Um. I feel like it needs to be like kind of a, um, I don't know, maybe like, cause they're like such tight pants. It needs to be kind of like a looser. I don't know, like a looser top. Does that make sense? I don't think I want to wear this one. I've been using that a lot recently. Ooh. 
Does this not have good, decent swatches? I mean, that kind of matches the pants, but it doesn't match my yellow vibes. So... Um... Braces are base game? Uh, are the braces base game? Oh, I guess we could have Honey get rid of their braces if we say that they, like... Yeah, braces are base game. Um, there's, like, a couple different teeth variants that are base game. I guess we had Honey wear the braces when they were a teen. Same thing with the acne. We had them have acne as a teen. Trying to, like, distinguish their teen... Where am I, what am I looking for? Trying to, like, distinguish their teenage years from them being a little bit older. But I might keep the acne. I think this shirt actually looks, like, better than I thought it would with these pants. Um... I don't think I anticipated that I would like it this much with these pants, but I think it's kind of good. I think I might keep it. Um, maybe we could wear some boots or something. I don't know which ones. Yeah, it's like we could say that they borrowed the red shirt from their mom. <laughs> It's not quite red, but you know what? We could kind of like pretend like, oh, it's mom's shirt. We're borrowing it. I sort of like that storyline. I think that's kind of cute. Um, I, I can get behind that. Um, maybe we can have this be like closer to our, maybe like our second outfit or something. Um, okay. The pronouns aren't from a mod. No, Carla, pronouns are in the game. Um, as of an update, like, a month or so ago. At least, if your game is set to be in English. They haven't come out to all languages yet. Obviously, it takes a long time to translate all of that. So, if your game is in English, um, the pronoun update is out. So, um, so, okay. I think this is good. I'm feeling a little bit better. We've got some new outfits. Um, I'm gonna swap that to be later, and I'll wear this. I need to get glasses for my... For the wedding, but I don't know if I want to use the, these ones or not. I might be okay if we use those. But if we're going to be at our parents' wedding, I'm going to look good. Alright. Tomato, my dear. Um, let me get you a wedding dress. You did have, so if you missed it, the Sims did have a wedding. To each other. Except then... Tomato left him at the altar, um, and now that we're elders, it's take two. Um, but anyway, Tomato did leave him at the altar before. You know what? I really do like that dress. I almost like it in the red, too. Are they already engaged? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, we are. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll be really distressed if we're not. <laughs> Um, oh, tomato uses she, her pronouns. I thought I said that. I swear, I, didn't I give the cat pronoun? How did I not give tomato pronouns if the cat has pronouns? I swear I did that. Um. Okay. I think I won't use this. Um, I think the red dress is really good. I might wear a little bracelet, too. Okay. Um, I kind of want to do the silver jewelry. I think I like it better. Oh, we could do gold. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty unsure of the jewelry that I would prefer to use. I don't know if I want a necklace or not. Should we do pearls? <gasps> Maybe the pearls are pretty. Oh my goodness. I kind of like that. And honestly, I think her makeup is pretty nice, too, for the wedding. We can just get a little bit of eyeshadow. I think that's beautiful. Okay, I'm pretty sure Eugene also still has the same formal from... Yeah. Eugene is still dressed from the first wedding. Um... <laughs> I might allow him a new look. <laughs> I may I may allow him to get a new outfit on. Maybe he could wear white because she's wearing red. If you stay ready, 
You never have to get ready. There you go. That's the key. Would that be a good combo? Those two things together? Eugene has no pronouns because he wasn't in my household until very recently. And I wasn't in cast thoughtful let with him until just now. Um, because, because obviously we, you know, raised honey by ourselves after leaving Eugene at the altar until about last time I streamed with this, with this fave, um, when I added Eugene to my household and got back with him. So. <laughs> um, it's very interesting. <laughs> um. He came with that for his wedding and his funeral. Christine! Ew. First of all, it's The Sims 4. We don't even have funerals. So. Oh, oh my god. All right. What are you so mad about? That's what I thought. Calm down. Okay. I would very much like to plan the wedding. Um, to be... Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Um... Let's add a wedding event. I'm gonna do the wedding tomorrow, and I think I'm gonna do it, I can't obviously invite any Sims of Honor, but I think I'm gonna have the wedding be tomorrow at the beach where we had the first wedding. It's kind of my thought process. Um, no, no. I would like to be clicked on tomato instead of you. Okay, wedding ceremony. Guests. There we go. Honey can come. Um, I have to really be careful to not invite any of my exes. Because I have a lot of exes. Oh my god. It's so good that we didn't try and date Kenzie. Oh my god. We almost had Honey trying to date Kenzie. Our mom dated Kenzie. Ew! Okay, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Dodged a bullet. All right, Brick is my son. Brick can come. Obviously, Honey can come. Why is everyone else I know someone that I've dated? Tommy, you want to come? I look like I'm good friends with Hannah. Shall I invite the other aliens? Maybe Kenzie can come. And Caleb. Because he might die in the sun. That seems like fun. Okay, we'll do a first dance. We'll cut cake, kiss, exchange vows. Walk down the aisle. We'll drink. That'll be good. Um, can I have everyone wear, like, red? Just to see how it goes. Oh, wait. Caleb can't die in the sun. I forgot. Ugh, boring. Um, I would like a beach. Beach wedding venue tomorrow. How about at like 11 a.m.? No, that's the wrong one. Oh, that could have been terrible. Wedding venue. I thought I placed it. Maybe I didn't. Oh, we can just do it here. It's a different kind of beach. We had one beach wedding, it was bad, so now we're gonna try a new beach wedding and hope that no one gets left at the altar this time. Forgot the kiss? Oh, don't yell, it's okay. Watch. <laughs> it's really easy to fix, don't worry chat, it's okay. <laughs> uh, all right, let's put that down. Um, all right, you need to calm yourself down. Do you want to come, like, use the bathroom, take a cold shower or something? That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Um, okay. And then today, I think I'm going to try and do some alien dating. Um, and then we'll have the wedding tomorrow. So, Hayden has invited me out, and I'm going. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, excited about it. 
Does Eugene have decor dislike for the style of the house? I don't think so. Oh, you invited me to a basketball court. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that's interesting. Is that a new holiday? No, it's a, a custom holiday. I made this holiday. I said it. Um, you can build your own holidays and stuff, obviously, so I always put this one in my saves. Um, discuss logic puzzles. Shall we flirt? Compliment appearance? Sentiment gained, okay. No, you don't have to marry an alien as Yellow Gen, Zoe, but um, when else am I gonna marry an alien, you know? So. <laughs> That's kind of my thought process. Don't you leave me! Stay. Joke about body hair. I feel like an alien would enjoy a joke about body hair. Did you leave? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. The chat is surprisingly slow today. All right. <laughs> Your mom, I'm going to I'm going to give you a piece of advice for the future. I want you to know that I don't take offense to these comments, okay? Um but if you say that in pretty much any Twitch stream, you're probably going to get banned. I'm just warning you. That kind of thing is like really rude to say to a streamer. Cause it's like, lol, dead streamer, dead chat. <laughs> I know that maybe you didn't mean it that way, but that is generally like the, the way it's interpreted. So I don't care, I'm not going to ban you. But in the future, I probably wouldn't point out that somebody's chat is dead or slow or whatever. Um, that's like general advice to all of you. <laughs> to like come in and be like, you've got less viewers than normal. Ooh, your chat is really slow today. <laughs> Um, I'm sure you can imagine how that might come across as kind of rude, even if you maybe didn't intend it to. Um, so you'll, you might get yourself banned if you say a thing like that to somebody else. So just keep that in mind, um, in the future when you're talking to other streamers. Um, so. <laughs> um, Molly, thank you for the six months, by the way. Don't walk away from me! Flirt. Express admiration. Um, how often do I stream? Every day but Sundays, Chloe. I'm live all the time. Oh! Oh, Bethany! And that's real Bethany, too. Not even fake Bethany. That's fun. Um. <laughs> that's this Sim's grandma. Um. Her ghost showed up in a night costume. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna stream this Sunday because it's my birthday. So I will be live this weekend. Ooh, I'm confident from interacting with aliens. Um, how can I tell which Bethany is real? I'm pretty sure fake Bethany is called fake Bethany. I think her name says that. But I could be wrong. Either way, this sim never got to meet either Bethany because they were both dead before they were born. So. Um, okay, Hayden. I'm probably not gonna kiss you yet. I need to go a little bit slower. What do you mean, fake Bethany? There was a clone. We had a clone. So. Bum, bum. It's complicated. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Wait, look, everybody's lining up to play. This is actually so cute. <laughs> do you wanna go slide? Do a trick slide. That seems like fun. Yeah, I think she's named Bethany 2.0. Yeah, and that's how you know it's fake Bethany. The Bethany that just walked past us was real Bethany, so. Um, oh, Angie, thank you for the sub, by the way. Um, let me do some grilling, because I need to grill stuff for um, the holiday as well. Honey uses they, them pronouns, Jenna. Um, So I found a ring in Eugene's bag. I think he is going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no, gah. All right, first of all, 
You're already engaged to Eugene. You proposed to him. So, it's kind of cute that I guess he's going to give you a ring. But I'm a little bit confused about why you're unsure of what to say. Um, I thought you being engaged kind of would make it clear, the answer. But like, your wedding is tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would say yes if I were you. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Meg, Angie, Smorley, Amoli, Kels, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, if you click yes, it makes them immediately married. Liar. No, they're still engaged. It's fine. We're still engaged. It's okay. I was scared. Okay, um, do you want to grab a serving? Um, Ga is the right answer. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, Bull and Molly, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, <laughs> there we go, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Where did Hayden go? Focus the camera. Oh, in the bathroom. Okay, fair enough. They were peeing. Um, do you want to express your admiration? Maybe tell an engaging story? Maybe blow a kiss? What holiday is that? It's Big Summer Blowout. I made it. Um, just so you know, you can make holidays. Uh, so like by default, there's like, you know, Harvest Fest and Winter Fest and, and Love Day and stuff. Uh, I like to add in a couple extra sometimes just because it's more fun. So I always put this one at the end of the summertime. Um, just like a summer kind of holiday where you do summery things like play in the water and grill um, But I made the holiday um, It's kind of fun to make one you can also sometimes I'll make like a Halloween like holiday too um, stuff like that um, But your summer holiday is called splash fest. I like that um, I like that um, <laughs> and great, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Um, summer holiday. Speak of the devil. She's dead in this save, though. Don't worry. Long dead in this save. <laughs> um, okay, let's go work on our logic skill at home, shall we? And then tomorrow we'll have a little wedding. It'll be beautiful. Call yours leisure day? Yeah, I like the old Sims 3 stuff. It's kind of fun. Um... Okay. Okay. Also, um, <laughs> while we're talking about Twitch etiquette, um, <laughs> uh, just so you know, because I've seen, like, three people do this today, um, I, I won't respond well to you telling me that you think Dan's stream is boring. I understand that, um, you know, he streams Dead by Daylight, I play The Sims, most of you only care about The Sims and not Dead by Daylight, um, but... It's probably not smart to go into someone's stream and make fun of their friends or loved ones' view counts or or call their friends or loved ones' streams boring. Um, also, just as a general rule of thumb, this happens with like other other of the Sims ladies too. They'll come in and be like, "I left Vixella to watch you," like stuff like that. Or sometimes they'll say meaner things, like kind of pitting us against each other. Those people are like my best friends in the entire world. Nobody likes it when you pit us against each other and it's weird to be like I like you better than so and so or vice versa or whatever it's not like the compliment you think it is to be like you're less boring than so and so like because what you're doing is insulting my friends in the process um so just as like a general rule of thumb try to avoid things like that you can like compliment someone without tearing somebody else down you know um that's that's good life advice for everything not just streams it's really easy to give someone a compliment without tearing somebody else down. <laughs> so, um, like, for example, I would be very disappointed if you said something like that to them. Like, I just don't want anyone's feelings to get hurt. Like, just be... Think about it a little bit more about how those things might come across. Um, and try not to tear anybody down in how you're talking. Because, again, you can like someone's stream better than others. Like, that's totally fine. But you don't need to, like, tear people down and say stuff like that, you know? Um, <laughs> so, um... 
Anyway, just keep that in mind. <laughs> just keep that in mind. Um, all right, I'm home. I'm going to go play some chess, please. Um, oh, and can maybe you go feed the piranhas? I mean, sharks. I have sharks now, don't I? Um, Becca, Laura, have it. Uh, and Ingrid and Bull, thank you for the subs, though. Um, Lil Simsy, social niceties teacher. Well, it's not that I'm trying to do that. It's more so that I know a lot of you maybe don't watch a lot of Twitch streams. Maybe you're kind of new to Twitch. And there's a lot of things that are kind of like, I guess, Twitch etiquette. Although, I mean, not tearing people down isn't just Twitch etiquette. That's just, um, that's just life. <laughs> Um, that's just life, it's to not tear people down, that's a good general rule of thumb for everything. Um, but it's- it's not hard for me to point out things that, like, maybe would hurt people's feelings on Twitch. I've seen it all, it takes a lot to offend me at this point, but, um, uh, you know, it's- it's good to point out things that might hurt other people. Um, cause you don't want to go around and say things. Like, I would be horrified if I said something that I didn't realize was coming across badly. And you might not know, and so, like, you're not in trouble, it's just good to point out, like, for the future so that you don't do it again and hurt someone's feelings. Cause I don't think anybody wants to hurt people's feelings, right? Um, like that's nobody's goal, so. Um, okay. I think you can return home. You might also want to go cry yourself to sleep. Uh, everyone's having a rough night, so. <laughs> that's true. Not everyone will mind you very kindly. A lot of people, um, will ban for this sort of thing very quickly. Um, which is totally valid. Set your boundaries. You do not have to let people talk to you however they want. You can you can decide how people talk to you. So it's good to point out things that might come across bad to other people. Um, you know? Okay, save the game. Um. <laughs> so how did they ban? Well, Alyssa, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you were getting people tearing down your friends, I... I don't think it's unreasonable to ban them for stuff like that. There's obviously a line of what is and isn't okay to say, but like, if you were to come in here and tell me that you think Dan's stream sucks, is it really unreasonable for me to, to ban you? I don't think so. I'm, I'm choosing to have grace right now, but I don't think it's unreasonable to ban someone <laughs> for tearing down people that you love. <laughs> so, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but... Anyway, especially when it's like their first message and stuff. It's like, look, I'm sorry to say it, but I'm pretty ban happy in my stream. Like if your first message is a weird one, I don't have to give you a second chance. Like it's really easy to not say something nasty. Like it's actually super easy. There's thousands of people doing it right now. So if your first message is kind of nasty, like I don't have to put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need to let- I don't need to let you type in my chat, you know? Like, if you want- and the thing is, you can still watch the stream. Like, you- you're just banned so you can't type. You lost your typing privileges by being nasty. Like, that's- it's very simple. You're nice, you get to type. You're mean, you don't get to type. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's- it, it's a really easy, like, thing we got going on here, so. <laughs> um. But, anyway. It's just one of those things where, like, obviously, um, it's not everybody is like that, but, um, I don't have to, like, no streamer should have to put up with people being, like, rude to them, right? Like, you're- Oh my god, I'm being abducted by an alien! That's pretty rude. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, you don't need to put up with people being rude to you. You can just ban them. It's really, it's a beautiful thing. Um, but, anyway, I've, I've been abducted. Maybe it was my almost girlfriend abducting me. Um, so. <laughs> um. Okay, anyway. You're not one to hold grudges. Alyssa, I don't know what you're trying to say, my love. I think that- I think that what you're doing right now is the wrong thing. Cause what you're doing is defending people who get banned from my stream. I wouldn't say that it's holding a grudge by disallowing you from typing in my chat. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's- it's again, it's a real simple social contract, okay? You have permission to type in my chat until you're nasty to me. At which point, you lose permission to type in my chat. 
I'm not holding a grudge. In fact, I'll just never think about you again because I don't see you. It's very simple. Actions have consequences. I don't know. We're, there's no point in arguing about that one. <laughs> um, it's not, that's not a, that's not a um, example of me not being forgiving of people or of me holding grudges. That's me holding boundaries um, and choosing to keep my chat a safe space. <laughs> People are so funny. They're so silly what they choose to argue about. <laughs> it's like, it's like someone will come in my chat and post like some nasty sexual message. And then imagine, oh, am I scared of the dark? Honey never knows what is lurking in the dark. Darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night. They feel like they could pop out at any moment. And lately this man named Vlad keeps calling. Oh, I'm scared of the dark too. Anyway, like imagine this, this is this is what you sound like for a second. Someone puts a nasty, like really creepy sexual comment in my chat, instaban, because they were creepy to me. And then people are like, oh, well they just meant it as a compliment. There's no need to hold a grudge. <laughs> like, you don't just get to be creepy. And then like, it's and then, boundaries, boundaries. Streamers have boundaries. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope you understand. Um, so, <laughs> tomorrow is my wedding. Very exciting. Um, okay, let's see. Anyway, if you feel it's weird, ban. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but anyway, the internet is very interesting. It's so interesting what people choose to argue with me about. Um, but <laughs> I guess they don't usually see it either, right? Like the things that we're talking about usually get held up by auto mods so they don't have to see it. So they wouldn't know. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, Habib, thank you for the sub gift, and Cheesy, and Nancy, and Cordy, and, um, and Quartz. Oh my god, that's really funny. There's two people that names start with Court in a row. Um, okay, anyway. Anyway, my mods are so quick. I know, they're so speedy. <laughs> um, anyway, chat, you know what? I think it's good to have conversations about boundaries. This is good talk. <laughs> We're learning. You see, we're learning. Uh, not as speedy as Mew. Oh yeah, I'm so fast. I'm so fast. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, is there a way to turn the fears off? That is a good question. Um, I Let's check. Um, yes. In, in this, you can show wants and fears. You can turn that on and off if you desire. And I assume you can also cheat them away. I'll test it. Um, yeah, if you have UI cheats extension in the mod, you can just right click to remove them, which is pretty easy. Um, but anyway, Ryan, thank you for the seven month resub. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> cheater? Um, <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Okay, do you want to come? As soon as you're ready to finish sleeping, go take a shower. I don't wish to be sad. I literally will cheat these things away. I'm sorry, but I don't wish to be sad on my wedding day. I absolutely refuse to be sad on my wedding day. Wake up. Use the bathroom. You can take a shower too. You'll come get some leftovers. Stop showing up with the uncomfortable mood lights. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is fine. Do you want to order a wedding cake? Um. All right, let me think about ordering a cake. More choices, order. 
purchase wedding cake. I want it to be something red. Maybe the heart one, because it's got some red in it. Or this one is white with red hearts. Or, or sorry, white hearts and red flowers. That seems pretty good. I like that. I like that. Okay, let me save my game. I think the wedding starts at 10, I'm pretty sure. So we have a little bit of time still. Um, but, um, is the wedding pack still buggy or fixed? Somewhere in between is where I'll say we've landed. It's not broken, but it's not perfect. Do you see what I mean? Do you understand? Um, it has its moments, but it's definitely significantly better than before. Like, to the point where you can't even really compare it to before. Um, so, <laughs> um, just keep that information in mind. Ah! No, 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 no. Hey, honey, I think Liana is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? No, 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 it's a terrible idea. Why is everyone who's dating me trying to date other people? <laughs> this is very sad. Everyone is just like walking all over my poor Sam. They didn't do anything wrong and everybody's just so mean. Poor honey. I just wanted love. really sad <laughs> okay well it's almost wedding time I think it's gonna be 10 a.m. maybe it's 11 a.m. oh it's 11 a.m. oops well we could always go now and get ready Sulani please um, also Lonnie thank you for the 13 month resub <laughs> and companionship and Welsh thank you for the subs too um, okay my wedding venue is over here I'm gonna show up and start getting set up. I think that's my plan. Bum, bum, bum. What happened to Wanda? Mm. Wanda betrayed me. And so Wanda met her fate. No, it can't be raining. Why can't I have a good wedding? Why can't I have a good wedding? <sighs> Okay, I think. Bum, bum. Cheat the weather? Don't worry, I did. <laughs> um, one second. All right, I think. Sorry, messaging mods. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, is that a lifeguard? <gasps> She's kind of hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, you shouldn't hit on people at work, but like, it wouldn't hurt. What are you, why are you getting in the way? I was talking to her. Wait, Eugene went to work. Oh my God. Oh my god, Eugene went to work? Oh, but the wedding's supposed to be happening right now! Isn't the wedding happening right now? Chat. I just want to emphasize to you that at this point in my life, <laughs> I am so done with this game. <laughs> Let me try and do it with the other Sim again. Oh my God. <laughs> Where did it go? Why did that happen to me?
Okay, so deep breaths. I'm just gonna invite all of my family and some friends. If you all could wear red, that would be great. Um, we'll do it here at noon. Okay. Here's the cake. Select that as the cake for the wedding ceremony. Let's start the event. Ceremony activities. Sorry, place wedding cake. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. Ceremony activities, please take your seats. What are you doing? Don't flirty introduction to that random sim. What is your problem? Why did you wear that? Oh, I know I told you to wear red, but I didn't mean it. I don't like this game. <laughs> okay, go sit down. Okay, can you come stand over here? You too. Please. And can you believe this wedding is still going better than our first wedding? <laughs> Because at the first wedding, we left Eugene at the altar. <laughs> Exchange vows and kiss. Okay. Okay. I guess the wedding pack simulates the stress of weddings very well. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. Of course, honey is in the way. There's a rainbow! It went away! It was there for a second. Oh. Okay, I won't leave it at the altar this time, I promise. Kiss, 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 kiss. Don't swim in the background. <gasps> Was that it? Oh. Okay. Do you want to go? What did you do? <laughs> I didn't even get to cut the cake. <laughs> Why are you just taking the cake on your own? Why is this wedding doing this to me? <laughs> and this guy's not even wearing a shirt. And it's my wedding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this seems just horrible. I just wanted it to be a nice day, and it's not a nice day. <laughs> Can you take a picture of my sim? I don't care about getting Eugene in the pictures, I just care about getting the picture of your mom, because she looks beautiful. You won't even do it? <laughs> I just pulled my headphones out. Everybody, this is too much. <laughs> Nothing is working. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, can I, I can say this now because enough time has passed. The, the early access stream of the wedding pack, I swear to you, it was one of the most stressful times of my entire life. I know that sounds dramatic, but you see, there was like 10,000 people there, and they were all very angry. Not at me, but at the game. And the game wasn't working, and like, I tried to get married three times, and there was no wedding. 
<laughs> like, like I had a wedding ceremony and they didn't end up getting married at it. Like, like I'm not even kidding. We had the ceremony and then the game wouldn't let them exchange vows. So I had a whole wedding and then there was no wedding. <laughs> This wedding pack is like the worst thing. Everything about it is a disaster. <laughs> I still don't even want to hear the word wedding, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't even want to think about weddings. I don't want weddings to exist. Like, <sighs> it's just, it's chaos. Okay. I now wish for you to take a photo of your mother. Like I asked you to do. I asked you very nicely. Take a photo of tomato. Oh, you're going to swim? Okay. Where's tomato? Okay, I'm gonna get some photos of the group. Okay, that's the only photo I can get of the group. I'm serious, chat. Oh, now they're kissing. You missed it! If you had taken the photo faster, you would have gotten the picture. she is oh see this is exactly what I wanted yeah I relate to that that's how I feel right now it looks like a little simsy thumbnail to be honest <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, maybe we should go home now. <laughs> I'm done. All right, and that's the end of the entire red gen of Not So Berry. Officially married as an elder. Um, I'm going home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, everybody, let's go back, shall we? Yes, we shall. <laughs> okay. Um, take a break. <laughs> um, no, today's stream's not going well. It's the um, the Sims' fault, though. Let's be honest. Um, okay. Do you want to go woohoo? What if they die doing it? <gasps> go woohoo in space! That sounds like fun. Tomato has learned Eugene's woohoo interests. That's right. The sexuality update has come out since we last did this. <laughs> that is quite the way to die, though. If I'm being honest. 50 Mile High Club! See, wasn't that fun? Dangerously tired. Okay, you need to go sleep. You both do. Because you will not die from this. I refuse. I refuse to allow that to happen to me. Okay. We need to max the logic skill, and we're getting there too, which is also good. Do it again? You want me to do it again? Eugene will die. You want me to do it again? Okay. Just one more time. Just one more time. Just once more. Oh no! I peed my pants! Oh, that is unfortunate. That is very <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Should we order pizza or something? Cause it's like our... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry to be a second. <laughs> um, let's get pizza for the wedding. My pizza is on the way. <gasps> Maybe I'll order pizza today. I'm asking Dan. <laughs> I'm asking Dan right now if we should order pizza. It's my birthday week. I'll do what I want. I can say that now. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> my, my birthday is on uh, Sunday, so... Um, <laughs> this is a big moment for me. Um... Yeah, I typed that after asking. I said, do you want to order pizza? It's my birthday week. I'll do what I want. So frankly, I don't care if Dan wants to order pizza or not, because I do. <laughs> oh, he said yes. Okay, good. Very exciting for me. Big moment. The pet bowl. Oh, good call. I'll fill it. Don't worry. And then I'll pee. Cause I don't want to have two Sims pee their pants today. Um, that would be sad. But it was two days ago. Oh, nice! Happy birthday! That's exciting. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm being abducted again. That's the second time today. So. That was actually quite the scream. <laughs> that was a lot, actually. <laughs> you were watching a VOD of mine last night, fell asleep, and accidentally butt dialed your grandma at midnight by rolling on your phone. You butt dialed your grandma at midnight? If my grandma called me at midnight, I would be so stressed out. I would immediately think the worst. I would be extremely worried if my grandma called me at midnight. <laughs> my grandma butt dials me a lot. I guess it's more like it's in her purse and it calls me somehow by accident. But she calls me by accident all the time and I'll be sitting there like, Grandma, hello? Grandma, it's Kayla, you called me. Grandma, <laughs> grandma. <laughs> and then she never answers. Um, and then, um, yeah, so, <laughs> or sorry, no, she, I answer and then she can't hear me. She never answers me when I'm yelling her name because she doesn't realize she's called. Um, Anna, thank you for the 12 months, by the way. Where's the pizza? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I got distracted by wanting real life pizza. I didn't get any pizza in The Sims. Um, that's pretty cringe. So. <laughs> you can eat it right now. Oh, I'm scared of the dark. That's actually really sad. And I'm paranoid because I got abducted, which is also pretty sad. Well. You having a good wedding day? <laughs> is it a, is it a good day for you? Where did you go? Are you invisible? Look, it says they're eating the pizza and washing their They're now washing dishes in the sink. Chat, I won't lie to you right now. I am, um, okay. <laughs> Today, The Sims is, is really getting to me. <laughs> Today, it's been a little bit too much for me. <laughs> 
Um, oh, Hannah's got some highlights from their trip to Disney and Universal last week. Out of context highlights. They come home tired one night to the rental neighbors partying. Um, half your group got stuck at the end of a log flume and you got free fast passes. It stormed and flickered your power. You journeyed to Batu in real life. Um, Disney Springs is a good Lego store. And also your birthday happened and you were horrified by the Lego shell. Or the Lego shell, the circle shell, sorry. Um, do you know what? The I heard about that happening at Splash Mountain at Disney where, I don't know what happened to you, but I heard about this happening where, so like Splash Mountain at Disney, basically it's like this little ride, it kind of goes around, there's animatronics and then there's like a drop and then it's like you get like a water ride, right? Like you drop and then water sprays in your face. Um, but I heard about a couple of those thingies um, at Splash Mountain, like the logs, sinking. Like, they don't sink sink, because obviously there's there's a ground, it's like not deep. But like, they like flood, and then you have to like crawl out of them. I've, I've heard about it happening like twice in the past couple months. Um... So... <laughs> Could you imagine if that happened to you? I would have been horrified. Horrified. Um... I think last year one of the uh, Jungle Cruise boats also sunk. Um, but, yikes. Um, anyway, fascinating. Who are you most worried about, Kayla? Why are you worried about me? I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good, I'm fine. Anyway, I've never been in a, uh, I've never had to evacuate from Splash Mountain before. That seems stressful. Disney World, not Disneyland. I don't know much about what happens at Disneyland, but I live in Orlando, so I hear things that happen at Disney World. It, like, you know, the local news is like, oh my god, a Splash Mountain boat sunk! <laughs> so I hear about a lot of things that happen at Disney World because I live nearby, so. Um. <laughs> um, but it's kind of funny. Don't ride Splash Mountain ever again. Well, I mean, it only happened a couple of times. But, no, the water's not very deep. The water's not very deep. So it was fine. Um, but, anyway, Disneyland is irrelevant. Yeah, Disneyland, irrelevant. California, irrelevant. Once is too many. Okay, fair enough. <gasps> Tomato's scared of ghosts! Oh, you're scared of ghosts because you saw Mr. Business? Mr. Business isn't scary. He's just here to do his business. You leave him alone. Don't run away. <laughs> you leave him be. He is minding his business. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair enough. Maybe she's scared that Mr. Business is gonna replace her as president. Cause Mr. Business is very successful. I'd be worried too. I'd be worried too. Her running away towards him. Yeah. <laughs> she was trying to run away from him, but she ran straight towards him. Fair enough. Are you guys scared of ghosts? I don't think I'm scared of ghosts. I suppose it depends on the ghost. But I don't think I'm scared of ghosts. Honey, however. Nope, sorry. Tomato, however. Very scared of ghosts. I think ghosts are pretty neat. <laughs> That's a good way of describing it. I'm not afraid of no ghost. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm curious about this poll. 35% says yes. Okay, that's fair enough. Do I have any ghost stories? No, I have no ghost stories. Um, you do. What are you screaming at them for? Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> Still, Brittany, thank you for the subs. Uh, she's very worried. She's got a fear of ghosts and a dead end job. Eugene's afraid of death and a dead end job. Honey's afraid of having their dreams unfulfilled and the dark. No, you can't die of fear, luckily, so she won't die from being terrified. She'll just be unpleasant. And apparently unfamous. <laughs> We're losing a celebrity level. That's not because of the fear, that's just bad timing, but that is pretty funny. Um, that is pretty funny. Okay, you can go use the bathroom. Are you gonna take a scared poop? Yeah, panicked poop. I understand. 
late for work because you're taking a panic to poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Sims is getting a little bit too real today. <laughs> okay. Um, you have work in five hours. What do you wish to do today before you go into the office? You need to, you're so close to maxing logic. Do you want to work on that? You were almost late to your best friend's wedding because of a panicked poop. Okay, fair enough. Weddings are scary. I'm actually quite scared of, of Dan's brother's wedding, I won't lie. Um, it's nerve-wracking. I don't know why. It's just like, I've been to weddings, but only for wedding. I've only been to one wedding where I didn't know a lot of people there. I've only been to like my cousin's weddings and I have like a very tight knit group of cousins and aunts and uncles that like all want to do things together the whole time. But like really, I only know Dan's parents and obviously his brother and sister and Liam's fiance. And I've met all of Dan's extended family, but I don't know him super well. So I'm just nervous. I'm nervous. I've met them all, but it's still kind of scary being around a group of people that you don't know that well. But luckily at a wedding, it's easy because it's like you're just there. It's all about other people, so that helps. Um, so. <laughs> oh, did you, Avery? I'm sorry. I bet you did well, though. I bet you did really well. Um, I've never had to make a speech at a wedding. Oh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> um, yes, yes, that's the thing, Christine. Okay, that's why I'm worried. Because Dan is a groomsman, okay? Obviously, Liam is the groom. I know Liam. He's out. Naomi, the bride. Caitlin, damn sister, bridesmaid. Everyone I know at the wedding is important. <laughs> so I'm gonna be alone. <laughs> that's why I'm, that's what I'm kind of nervous about. Is that everyone I know is like in the wedding, you know? Um, so... <laughs> Obviously, I know Dan's parents, but like, they're gonna be important too. It's okay. It's okay. You know, Savory, I went, so I was at my friend Megan's wedding. You might know Megan Plays. She does a lot of Roblox videos now, but she used to make a lot of Sims videos. Um, and I went to her wedding, but luckily Vixella was also there. Obviously Sasha's like my best friend, so I know I knew Sasha. And also um, the old Sims community manager was there, SimGuru Drake, which a lot of you might have forgotten about. But if you've been in the Sims community, like from like Sims 4 beginnings, you might remember SimGuru Drake, but um, she was there too. So that was kind of fun. Um, because otherwise I wouldn't have known anybody, right? Because, like... <laughs> um, yeah, I love SimGuru Drake. Um, SimGuru Drake is really nice, so... Um, but, anyway. <laughs> uh, what? No SimGurus at Dan's brother's wedding? Yeah, for some reason, Dan's brother didn't invite any of the SimGurus. I can't imagine why not. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Are some gurus going to my wedding? Do you know what? I've actually thought about that. I'm not opposed to inviting them. I don't know if they'd actually come, but I'd send them an invite. I'd invite them. <laughs> I don't know if they'd actually come, but like I would definitely invite them. So... It's gonna be a Sims wedding, let's be real. <laughs> I mean, I've known most of the Sim Gurus, not most of, a lot of, like a lot of them have started working there more recently, but I've known a lot of the Sim Gurus since like, I was literally 17, so. Not, I don't know them well, I don't know them well, but it would be funny if like Sim Guru Ninja was there. <laughs> I don't think they would actually go though. Um, they might feel weird about it. And also it's gonna be in the UK, so. It's a bit of a trek. Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly a quick flight or anything from San Francisco, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna invite all of my closest friends. Um, all of you, haha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think that I'm gonna, by the way, it's to catch you ahead of the, the questions. We're not gonna live stream it, oh my God, no. Also, no, we haven't started planning anything at all. It's COVID, too stressful. I just bought a house. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> I'm renovating a house. <laughs> we can't be trying to plan a wedding too. Um, but, but, um, 
I, I do think that I'm probably gonna hire a videographer and I'm probably gonna post a video about it on YouTube because those wedding videos get so many views. It'll pay for itself. The the video, not the, the wedding. I won't make enough money off a video to pay for the wedding, I don't think. <laughs> but I mean, get that content, you know? Um, but like, I'll probably make it anyway for myself, so I might as well post it, you know? Um. <laughs> so, um, that's the plan, I think. Um, get your coin, exactly. <laughs> Um, well, that's the thing, even just for yourself, it's nice to have one of those, I think. But also, they get so many views. Not that weddings are about views, but like, if you're gonna make it, you might as well post it. You know? Okay, content queen. <laughs> um, no, I, I think it would be a fun video to have, though, just to have, so. Um, but anyway. Just because someone made a mean comment, I'd like to point out that Dan and I got married at the courthouse during COVID and his parents couldn't be there because at the time there was a travel ban and they could not enter the country. So my apologies for wanting to have a celebration that Dan's family can actually attend. <laughs> like, I don't think that's unreasonable, my love. <laughs> Dan already had to move countries. Um, I think it would be nice if, if his family could actually celebrate a little, you know? Also, my brother didn't even go. Brett literally had an exam and Brett couldn't come either. I didn't really care that much about it though. Like about that day, it, it didn't really like, I don't know. We had pizza and cake when we got home and it was, that part was more fun and Brett was there for that. Um, but anyway, my brother didn't even get to come, so. <laughs> Um, but I thought that part was nice, I guess. But I, it was, I think, a bit sad that, like, obviously no, no one from Dan's family could be there. Um, it's unfortunate, so. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um. Oh, Tori, the idea of being the bride at a wedding does make me very nervous. I do think that it's a little bit less nerve-wracking when I think about the fact that, like, obviously, like, half the people I wouldn't know because they'd be Dan's family, but I do know them. But otherwise, most of the people there, the vast majority, I know very well. Like, so I think that helps. But being the center of attention causes me a, a decent amount of stress. I know you might think, but you're a Twitch streamer. But, like, it's not the same thing. Like, I'm sitting here in my room playing Sims. It's not the same thing as, as like, being in person in a room where everybody's looking at you, you know? Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> it's a weird one. And you know what, that's a good question, Silver, actually. Uh-oh, I must have running away. They asked, is your anniversary the day you got married at the courthouse or the day you have your wedding? I don't know. I feel like we'll probably celebrate the courthouse day, but I guess it depends how I feel and when the other one is. You know, cause you might as well, I guess if you want, you could do both, <laughs> right? Like, uh, but I feel like the courthouse one is the real one, right? Cause that was the, the official one. Um, but could do the same day. I guess that's true if we so desired. Um, but part of me is like, <laughs> I don't want the anniversary to be in August. It's obviously, it actually is. Um, because we got married last August, but I'm like, my birthday's in August, Dan's birthday's the end of July. It's like all of them happen at once. Like, like it's like every two weeks <laughs> for like a month, there's like something really big happening. So maybe if we did it a different time, spread it out a little bit, you know? Because <laughs> then you've got an excuse to celebrate throughout the year more. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I haven't even started to think about remotely planning something like that. The idea of that is so distressing to me. I, like I said, I'm like, I just bought a house. Like I'm trying to deal with that first. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> Rosie, love for all peoples, Estelle, Brittany, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, I think that's fun, funny ducklings. I like that. Um, what a dress in August sounds miserable, TBH. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know. 
I'm not a summer girly. I think I like, I don't know when I would do it. I need to think about it. My cousin got married last December. Well, actually she got married in 2020 in December. Um, That's when her wedding was supposed to be, but they had to cancel it from COVID. So they actually got married. Um, uh, and then had like a, a vow renewal on their anniversary last December. Um, and it was beautiful. It was so nice. We were in Colorado. It was snowing. They had rented this like really nice um, like house out. There was like fairy lights everywhere. And like the, it had just snowed. So like all of the pine trees had like a little dusting of snow on them. It was obviously inside, but it, and there was like a bunch of fireplaces. It was a really beautiful wedding. Um, it was really nice. <laughs> it worked out really well. Um, it was just really pretty. Very cozy, you know? <laughs> um, but they, like, got married in front of a fireplace and there was candles everywhere. Like, it was just, it was very, very magical. It was really beautiful pictures, too. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> um, the idea of that is very beautiful to me, but I'm, like, I don't know if I'm a winter girly either. I live in Florida. I don't handle the cold very well. <laughs> but like I said, I really haven't even started remotely thinking about stuff like that, so. Um, anyway, can you see the house? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Or do you mean my real life house? I've posted some videos of the real life, the real life house on my YouTube channel, so you can search them if you want to. Um, almost want a January wedding because January is awful and be nice, doesn't to look forward to. I think that makes sense. I feel that way about March. Because <laughs> at least for me, January is still like good vibes a little bit. But I'm like, Mar March could use something, you know? <laughs> March could use something. Um, brothers in January and you hate it? Really? I always didn't like August. I August has such miserable weather in Florida though. It's so hot. Like I would... This is like a living in Florida exclusive thing. But like, I would much rather a, a winter birthday. Like if my birthday was in January or something, I would like that a lot better than August. <laughs> um, it's just so hot here. Like, I don't want to be outside, you know? Um, so, <laughs> November? November's not so bad. My brother's birthday's in November though. Hayden, I think Liana and I were just not meant to be. Yeah, you're not meant to be because you're you're dating me. <sighs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Everyone, everyone is trying to just wrong my poor Sam. I can't. I can't. Honey doesn't deserve this. You do not deserve this. I'm probably gonna find someone to raid here in a second anyway. Um, so just to keep you all posted on the stream schedule. So tomorrow, tomorrow, um, I think we're gonna play The Sims again. I wanna play with the high school pack though. You know how I made that save when we were trying to be a bully the other day? I wanna play that save again, except um, I'm not so much a bully anymore as I am just popular, but that's fine. Both are good. Uh, and I'm gonna try and get closer to graduation. And I think once we finish playing through high school with that sim, I might have her go to college. I don't know, it just sounds like fun. So we won't get to college tomorrow, but I wanna play with her again. Um, on Wednesday, I'm gonna build a vet clinic because I haven't built one of those in ages. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, Thursday, we're gonna play The Sims 3. I wanna play Island Paradise from a hotel, which I'm very excited about because I love Island Paradise. Um, and then Friday, I'm planning on playing Animal Crossing, although I will say, um, I have a very unpleasant doctor's appointment on Friday. Um, I have to get an ultrasound because they're checking to see if I've got more cysts. <sighs> I am incredibly distressed by this and I don't want to do it and I might be in a really bad mood. So I might cancel stream on Friday depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, I know the audacity of it having my birthday weekend, I know, but they couldn't put me in any other time and I wanted to get it over with. So now I have to do it on my birthday weekend, but whatever, it's fine. That's on Friday, so I might not stream, but I'm gonna try. But like, I might be in a bad mood. So, cause last time I had to do this, I literally cried for hours after. <laughs> I had to do the same thing like a couple years ago after I had that cyst burst and it was the whole thing. Um, I literally cried all day, so I don't know, but maybe I'll do better this time. I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, and then on Saturday, I think I'm gonna not stream on Saturday 
because I'm gonna hang out with my parents all day, I think, for my birthday. But then on Sunday, my actual birthday, I'm gonna stream, so. And I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I haven't decided. So. Um, also, Dan has to get a crown put on. Can you believe this? Listen to this. So, the ultrasound has been scheduled for, like, two weeks, okay? Dan went and had to get a root canal, and then, because we're going to the UK for his brother's wedding, he has to get, like, he has, like, a temporary crown on it right now, and he has to get, like, the permanent one put on, and the only time they could fit him in is the exact same time as my gynecologist appointment. And he said yes to it, and then he texted me, and he was like, 10 a.m. on Friday the 12th, and I was like, 10 a.m. on Friday the 12th? <laughs> like the exact same time too? <sighs> anyway, whatever, whatever. His tooth's gonna be fixed and I'll just be there alone. It's fine. <laughs> so how's he gonna get there? I think he has to Uber to the dentist because I'm not dropping him off. I'm gonna be busy. Um... But, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Bring my mom? I think my mom has to work. <laughs> oh, I need to figure it out. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I don't know if she'll be able to make it. I'll figure it out. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. Um, it's fine. Shanna? She's, her school starts this week. Shanna's gonna have school. Imagine being in high school still. Ugh. But my sister's gonna have school, so she can't go. She can skip? Skip the first week of school? <laughs> no, I'll be fine, don't worry. Um, you start school in August? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that is unfortunate. But yes, my birthday was the first day of school multiple times in my life. Um, but... Anyway, I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be okay. That is a rocket. It's in like a courtyard in the house. It's kind of cool. Do you like it? It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go find somebody to raid. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out tonight. It's been fun chatting with you. It's always a good time getting to hang out and chat and stuff. So, um, I for one really enjoyed it. Um, I think I would like to raid oh, somebody. Maybe? Oh, you know what? Um, my dear friend Zeph hasn't streamed in a little bit. Um, and so maybe we could go pop in and raid Zeph. Um, that might be kind of fun. Yeah? I like that. Playing The Sims, building for her save file, it looks like. Um, I like that plan. I like that plan. Let's go say hi. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. We'll play some more Sims tomorrow, um, which should be a really good time. Um, all right. I love you all. I miss you already. Have the best, best, best rest of your day. Um, happy Monday. Those of you that are starting school this week, I'm so sorry. But I think most of you aren't. <laughs> but if you are, I'm so sorry. Um, and like I said, I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? All right. Go say hi to Zeph. I love you. I miss you. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> and stop the stream.